So, um, and we're going to be doing more cooperations tonight. Uh, so Shido or anybody else listening in, if you wanted to join in, we're happy to have you. As long as you're willing to tolerate my sluggish dumbass. Yeah, maybe not a Pringles hater. Yeah, I don't really... I, I only like so-called haters of Pringles that I can think of. Are just people that are just like, eh, like, they're kind of like me. They don't like, they're not like, yo, that shit's garbage. It's just like, eh, I don't love it. It's just fine. It's fine, but hard to get excited about. Rapid succession restores one armor segment. I like that a lot. I should have bought that last time. Also, we got a pla we have plasma pistol upgrade. There's a perk available, which you probably have to purchase similarly with these little trinkets here. So, perk tree, bam. So we have two options. Mastery points on nodes. Okay. Active perk nodes and passive perk nodes. Okay. And I'm guessing... I mean, that's what these things are for up here. So... Let's see. Unlock four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So that's where this comes in handy then. So once you kind of unlock that first upgrade, you can purchase one of these. Or, or I guess unlock this slot here. Although we might still need... To use the mastery points. I'm not 100% sure. So, generates less heat or weapon cools faster. So, it cools quicker or... So, like, after you've overheated it, it cools down quicker. Or it generates less heat per shot. Oh, that's common shots. To be honest, I'm probably not going to use common shots all that often. I'm more likely to use the fully charged shots. So let's go for this one. And then... So I'm going to go in. Yeah, let's go ahead. Since we have two of these things. Just to burn. Rapid succession. Weapons do not heat. Do not heat for five seconds. That's kind of nice. Radius of a charge shot increases. Ooh, that sounds pretty tempting. Although I'm... Oh, I see though. I see because I've gone for this one. Kind of locked in. Okay. But I do like that charge shot. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of nice too. Yeah, you can actually go up too. Cool. So I should definitely go for this one then. Unlock. There we go. But I probably still have to use... Yeah, I still have to use the mastery points. Okay, so we have it for next time, though. There we go. There we go. And then these are available. These are just cosmetic variants. But because I have leveled passes level zero, level 1, basically, I have these available. But I'm a little bit short. Ha! <laughs> Story of my life. But also a little bit uh, not able to afford them. But actually, no, I'm wrong. It's not cosmetic. It is also st statistically significant. Um, also, am I missing some? Oh, it's higher capacity. I was like, what's, why would you, why would you not go for this one is the obvious choice. This is a higher magazine capacity. Only 10 though. So I'd probably be more inclined to go for this one. Pretty sweet. Lots of details. Lots of gosh darn details. Tilt the can with the lid on. Right, so it slides back. Right, so that way it doesn't like make a mess, obviously. Yeah, so you just kind of have to slide them into your open palm. Easy peasy. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a that's a reasonable approach to the Pringle strategy. All right, so we got a new helmet, and it and the difference is <laughs> I like how whenever you switch off from the skull, it kind of like it kind of fades away. Oh, that's how how you get the different colored eyeballs. I was I remember wondering about that previously. It's a shame you can't have the cool colored eyeballs and also the headdress. Anyway, so go for that one. And there we go. What I think I will do before we get too far into this. One thing, like I said, we're going to be doing more co-operations tonight. Which is to say co-op operations. And um, anybody will be able to join. I don't have a squad open yet. Although I guess I could probably open one. So if anybody wants to join. I don't know if if because I haven't initiated the uh, the level select yet. So, I don't know how much of this is available right now, but I'll just post this so anybody could j hop on if they wanted to. So, yeah, Shudo, if you want to hop in or, or anybody else who owns this, welcome to do so. But, um... Whoop. Uh, oh, oh. oh, it's because I still have this menu up. That's why. It's like, why can I not move? So the other thing I wanted to do is check our data log situation, our data slate situation, because last time that was something we were focused on, and there's still a few left. All right, so looks like I haven't gotten any in Vox Liberatus. There's one we missed in Fall of Atreus, so there's just four uh, data slates left. So I'm going to do some 
do a quick kind of looky-loo here on the website. The website we were using last time. Looking for the decapitation mission on Avarax. I want to see what's the first entry. First entry. So here we go. We can all kind of look together. On what to expect for the first data slate. First big chapel. Towards the main objective. Go up the stairs. Through the archway. Data slate is on the left. Alright, so we got the... I'm going to try to like burn this into my memory. I, def, I know we definitely got the second one. So we're looking for the first one here. First big chapel. Towards the main objective. Um, it doesn't say what the main objective is at this point here. But yeah, go up the stairs through the archway. Down this way to the left. So I'm going to try to like download this little image into my brain. And that should be well and good. And close that. Back to the games here. Actually, I, may, I might want to keep that open. But yes, that's going to be the decapitation level. So we'll start with that one. So we'll start with that. So let me go ahead and initiate a launch bay just so that I can go ahead and interact. Set us going here. Decapitation. Yeah, we technically never actually completed this level. So at some point, it would be nice to go back and complete that level. That was, that was before we tried it twice on average difficulty. Not realizing average was hard mode. I hear average as like normal mode, but man. How, how little I, how, how little I was, I was, I was, uh, aware of what things are going to look like. By the way, I'm curious. Do you get the same rewards? Okay, you get more stuff. You get more rewards. Okay, and you get, there was different categories of the armory data. That's kind of what I was expecting. Because right now you just get the green ones, which are the, obviously, the easy ones. Go ahead and kick that off. Mission has started. So yeah, Shido, if you, if you want to join in, you're welcome to do so. Uh, actually, I say it, it looks like Bork and Chicken are already in. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I was, uh, I, I wasn't sure if it was joinable earlier. I promise I wasn't trying to exclude anybody, but... They just, they just kind of throw you right in. I wonder if there's, like, a way to say, like... You know, yeah, change, you know, close out of mode. If there's a way to be, like... Um... To, like, I don't know, put limits or say, like, friend only. If there's a way to have more control over who joins at any given moment. Um, also, I hadn't really thought to look ahead of time. I wonder if there's anything different that I want to do for our for our guys. The jump pack class. The jump pack class I didn't love, especially because there's no heavy, there's no main weapon. The amount of melee weapons is pretty satisfying. But yeah, out of all those, I think Vanguard might be the one that I like the most. So, um, if I wanted to do something kind of like this, that's just like a, a goofy amalgamation of dumbass colors, um, I think what I would probably do is edit armor. I don't think I can quite afford, let's see, there was, the, there was a color I was looking at last time. I think it was just straight up white. Yeah, but I, I would need to buy, I need to make both these purchases, so I would need presumably 60. 60 of the fun money, so we need to wait a little bit longer. I can get that. So, what I would probably do is add a few more custom rules. I could customize some things a little bit more. There's no war gear to customize. If I wanted to do, like, just kind of the same thing as earlier, just the whole goofy ass big spread of, um, of, of funny looking armor. Um, what I might do is leave that as red, just because that, sh that pauldron is already selected. And then this pauldron will be maybe light blue. And I'd probably change the pattern color to be... Yeah, maybe something that, that sticks a little bit better. Maybe yellow. And then... Oh, yeah. Leave that pauldron alone. And then this is the left gauntlet. Right. Yeah, yes. This is the one I want to change. So we do like... Yeah, maybe, maybe green. Okay. I'd leave one of those legs bright yellow. The other one will make that... This color. Or this color, maybe. Oh, we're going in. Alright, I'm trying to make myself pretty, but that's fine. fine. Let's go ahead and kick off the multi-streaming, by the way. These dudes are ready to go. And you know what? I respect that. I respect that they're, they're just raring to, to, to jump on in. Like the fact that they are ready to to hop right to it. So let me grab one thing real quick here.
kind of adjust a couple things in the overlay that you can't really see, but I'm gonna like make a couple things a little bit more, a little bit more reasonable here. Should be good. Okay. That going. Oh, I also need, I need to grab one last thing, one last thing, and then it'll be all set. Modify this. We are inserting you near a bridge held by the Imperial Guard that intersects with its path. You will level the whole structure and crush that go. Xenos monstrosity in the collapse. Visual on drop zone. Setting down. Mm. Assist in the defense. Okay, I might fuck with this later. Okay, cool. Confirm that the Xenos overlord has entered the kill zone. Then trigger the detonation. We will All right. bring the so we're looking for the very first chapel. So I'll keep my eyes peeled. We've got the we've got the fun. Yeah, my, my, because these guys are admiring my like ridiculous looking outfit. I'm assuming it's gonna be the chapel we go inside of, as opposed to just a chapel that we look at. Probably not this one. Yo, what's up, Mr. Aaron? Mr. Game and Browse. I'm excited. I saw the notification for the Halloween party in a few weeks. That'll be a nice time. Or by, in, by a few weeks, I mean like a month and a half, but still, it's going to be good. I'm hustling. It wouldn't be up that way, would it? That's like really early on in the mission. It'd be weird for them to throw it at us that quickly. Whoop, can't block can't block that one and yet I tried I pressed the button like a little bit uh, a little bit like prematurely there that's okay we get our armor back so no one has to know a darn thing there we go let the guy take him out take him to uh take him to funky town and jam his entire body inside like that that's pretty dope now is no time for James brother I, was nearly testing I feel like it'd be kind of odd for them to throw something like that at us. It's early on. Can I, like, grapple up from there? I sure can. Now it's that's really satisfying. Jumping up that high like that. There we go. Kind of nice too. It lets me lets me like do a nice little skip there. So if I was the kind of speedrunning uh, enthusiast, it'd be nice for. You know, skipping over a bunch of stuff. Not that much, obviously, but enough. Let's see, got this guy. If anybody wants a guardian relic. It's not easy, as long as someone gets it, honestly. Oh, this guy. Hello, Shana. You are here. Shana is here. She sure is. Hello, Shana Cat. Hopping in everywhere. Bad day. Available. I'll grab one of these, but then point out that there's another armor boost right here for anybody who wants it. And slam his ass down. There we go. Okay, let's go over this way. They're trying to direct me this way. I will follow them. Whip. At least I'm assuming that's what they're doing. Uh, not sure what chicken's looking for, unless there's like something over there, but that didn't look like that was relevant for look, what we're looking for here for the, um, for the current mission, for the, for the current, not mission, but for the, uh, for the current side mission. Oh, I was trying to, trying to parry that other guy. There are the poison launchers somewhere. Of projectile fellas. Gives me some armor back, which is helpful. Throwing lots of the uh, little fellas at us. And of course, one big, one sniper guy. Ouch. This guy. 
So many little projectile fellas. I mean, there was a sniper. Way back there. I'm going for his ass. Should this be enough to kill? It absolutely will be. There we go. Let's do that way. To get him out of here. Right. And then if I could do like a quick grappling grappling hook maneuver to get back to the broskies, that'd be really convenient too. Scipius, I am glad to have you. I can understand why the Astro Minotaurum struggles. Also, there is healing here. I'll go ahead and grab this. Grenades, grenading up here. Ooh, here it is. Here's the data slate. Secure that equipment. So this is on the top then of, of that first cathedral then. So they, they weren't they weren't lying, it was just like not quite exactly what I was expecting. I thought it was more of a main entrance thing. We got there. Got the data slate. Uh, I'll, I'll grab the Krakenades instead of the, of the frags. Brackies instead of fraggies. We got Jet in the house. What's up, Jet? Jet, I did see your post in your Discord server about your birthday shenanigans coming in hot in about, a, actually a little bit less than a week. Which is deep exciting. Am I Voltron? Kinda. We're like a weird semi-clown vomitous color scheme. I actually wanted to make myself more obnoxious and more stupid looking. But I... Um, we, like, the match started before I was, like, fully done making myself look ridiculous. And I think the people in my squad are, like, flustered by me. Because they keep, they keep stopping and just staring at my guy. The two of them individually. I think they probably think I am a 12-year-old child. And maturity-wise, they would not be wrong. Like that's 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 about the energy I bring to the table. Generally speaking, so there, you know, there 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 would be more there, there's more incorrect things to, to think about someone of my stature. So he's probably got that one under control. Purple's the go-to, yeah. Actually, yeah. I wanted to make like maybe the head something like dark, like like a light blue, like a baby blue. You know? And of course, I would love it if pink was an option, but sadly, there are no pink options yet. But I bet there's going to be some in a future DLC, so I'm keeping my eyes peeled. My eyes and also hopes peeled. Armory data. Schematics in our possession. That's really nifty. I was wondering what if they know about this. I've actually never seen that before, but yeah, just a random armory data. Because that's real that's a really useful resource for uh for future reference. I guess I don't know there we go. As long as they see that. I want everyone to get that because that's just a free that's a free treat. A free snack. Yeah, purple's a good color though. I would I would grab pink if I could. Of course there's bright red. In fact, we were saying last time where it's like if I could unlock a primary just like plain white then we could do like a nice like kind of fun romantic valentine's day kind of build for our for our color scheme again there's no pink but purple red and white that's pretty romantic so i can i can make a romantic warrior space marine which would be pretty gosh darned sweet sweet if you ask me so until then i'm doing the clown vomit but yes that that's very much in our future The barbed strangler. That's what we call him. Oh, I got the uh, the guy behind him. <laughs> I, I, I swung right past that first guy and just went right for the dude behind him. I'm not surprised he went for the standard kill as opposed to an execution. Armor boost. But I'm already boosted up. I'm already as boosted as one could be. A little grenade down. A little grenade action. Oh, it, oh, it was to say, did it not? Did it not count? It did count. Making a bunch of friends over here. I'm so glad that that, that dodge allowed me to do, pull off a nice little counter move. Wait your turn. 
Pikachu was being so rude and impatient. Very inconsiderate. I found the way forward, guys. That was really that was a really satisfying little exchange we had just there with those bad guys. I feel like I handled that really well. We didn't lose any health. Just had one tick of armor. We we built got it built back really easily. So like that was that was like a very confident little exchange. Just kind of threw ourselves into a group of bad guys and we're totally fine. That was that was very satisfying. Now, it's not always going to be out, gonna play out that way. There will be times in the future where I will absolutely uh, flounder in a, in a very uh, embarrassing way. No, no, no uh, punishing and opp opportunities there, unfortunately. Actually did not mean to do a gun execution there, but we still got the armor back, if nothing else. Spirit. Press the buttons. Points reached, Lord I'm trying to keep our eyes out then for the, those extra resources. Now that we know that that's an option that will sometimes be said. But there will be extra uh, armor resources sometimes. Match. Oh god, snipers. Sniper, no sniping. Is that enough for the execution? Not quite. Now it is. Did lose a little bit of, a of health there, but that's okay. <laughs> Before we can manage to get back, slice his ass off. There we go. Oh, right. These things. I don't like these things. Ah. They like me a lot, though. Hit him real quick so I can get some armor back for just a brief moment. And I really do mean a brief moment. Let us use more bombs just to be safe. Oof. Get some armor back. Good idea. Good heckin' idea. That is all! Did the enemy run out of weapons? That should open him up for execution. Okay, so I'll grab one of these things. Let's see, I will go for. I think there's gonna be one. Actually, I'll go for this one. Stomp his ass. There we go. Good old fashioned ass stomping. So he's gonna grab that one. Good, good, good. One of these things. Go for the one in the far corner. Because I am pretty far out. Ouch. Rude, I'm trying to do the objective thing, bro. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to parry this guy. What instead happened was I uh, just grabbed the, the guy behind him. I probably need to get away from this thing because it's going to explode and I'm going to be really sad. There's more we need to explode. I guess there's some down here. Oh yeah, there, there's going to be down here, I see. I thought there was more back where we first found them. And the shoot. There we go. Good old-fashioned shoot punish. Shoot him in the head and make him sad. Using that ability on these dudes feels a little silly. Given that they are much less of a threat. But when they're shooting at us and it's very annoying, it's like, let's just close the deal. Or close the gap. Close the gap and seal the deal nice and quick-like. This support is ready for demolition. I could grapple to him, I would. I would if I could. There we go. Stay dead, run him. I think this guy's got the wind covered. In fact, I think that means we're in pretty good shape because 
we have a, a, a sixth charge that we don't really need. The Hive Titan will reach your position shortly. Join the Imperial Guard defenses up on the bridge and lure that Xenos Colossus into the kill zone. Can I also go for the shoot punish? No, I cannot. Wishful thinking. Get got that guy though. Yeah, I'm gonna go next to that thing because oh, this this is a lot of dudes. This this wave is uh, is intense. Capture. Of course, that did take off a bunch of armor. There we go. I wonder, wonder what this is doing to the bit rate. It's probably getting pretty silly and pretty weird. Ouch. Is that enough? It sure is. Some warrior, no more. Poison is not doing us any favors. Sexual or otherwise. But I was gonna say you want you want to go for him because I'm full on armor. Okay. A little bit messy, but we got there. I uh, had to use one of my healings earlier, but we got restocked, so we're all set there. Precisely what Some ammo too. I don't know if I need it per se. I'll grab the bomb. We're going back up. Oh, we're going out this way. Oh, it's one of these guys. I knew there was something weird going on because I was like, oh, that's, that's, why, why is my teammate like shooting past me? Oof. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now all three of us are fucking ganging up on this guy. That was a good catch. I didn't even see him coming, but the, the fact that our teammates noticed them is impressive. Also, I realized I could sprint and reload simultaneously. That's actually really nice. Seems like a lot of times in games you can you can like jog lightly and reload, but not so much sprint and reload. With little loading zone, and if we wanted to, we could change our loadout. Which I guess would primarily really just be the instigator rifle. Um or the melter rifle? Ah nah, let's let's stick with something that has some range. That makes more sense. Astartes! We were not expecting such illustrious company in the rear rank. We're pretty illustrious. We're pretty lusty. On these probing We're pretty now. ill and lusty. It's the relay that's getting hammered right now. The leader beast will cross that bridge and in short order die to our tactics. That's Anybody needs this. If, yes. if nobody else needs it, I will grab it. Without armor support to tackle a target that big, we may have to bring down the supply bridge. All oh, here too. are prepared. Is this a withdrawal order? Negative. The objective is the hive titan. I guess I'll use and grab this one. Mm -hmm. position until the command Just looking for boxes to break because there are those extra boxes. My lord. I do love me some some boxy explosions. Oh, this way. Okay. For some reason, I thought they came in from the other side. Honestly, this is one of those cases where you can you can just fire anywhere. It doesn't really matter what what you're shooting at. You will you will hit something. You will hit something and you will cause a kill to happen. You have its attention. It is moving to intercept. Apply more pressure. <laughs> Him real quick. There we go. Get some armor back. Reload. 
Let's get that guy covered. And I love that stompy attack. Love it a whole lot, and I abuse the shit out of it, and I have no shame. Of course, Chicken's able to handle himself quite well. He's a bulwark, so he is all about, like, tanking and, and kind of holding the line. Even though love isn't always on time. I think they do a quirks on this side as well. I've never seen such an atrocity. Hold. Give the hive beast the big guy will be facing down later on. But not that much later. Let's see, where do we do so? Yeah, right here. The big button. There we go. So some of them, of course, did get through, but not very many of them. This is Tanessa. The ambush was a success. I'm gonna get the ammo refill real quick. It is not dead. Listen, right here. Lieutenant Titus, please repeat. I think that good stomp combo. I I abuse the shit out of it. I mean, the other combos are cool. Like the uh, the the kick is cool, and that like shoulder charge. Like I like both of them, and they're useful at like sometimes. But that that really sick ass ground like stomp has such a sweet AOE, knocks enemies back, makes them vulnerable for executions, which of course is uh, key for restoring armor. Because whenever you kill a bad guy through some kind of execution, you get one armor tick back. So it's it's. Just like a guaranteed, like, always go for it whenever it's an opportunity. And also you're invincible for some parts of that animation, at least. So it gives you a bit of a break in the combat. It's kind of like how it felt whenever I'd be playing Resident Evil 4. And there was like a group of zombies that are trying to get your ass. And you eventually figure out, like, if you shoot a zombie in the knee, no they drop down and you can suplex them. Or if you shoot a zombie in the head, you can go for the kick and just knock the fuck out of them. And that's like really good for like crowd control. It saves on bullets, and also again like same kind of thing. There, you're like in, in parts of the animation. The so it's kind of a nice little break. Nice way to kind of like keep keep combat fresh and not just stand still and shoot. Like it's kind of dynamic. You're always kind of shifting around, looking for opportunities, looking for those little moments, those like little breaths of fresh air. Isaac, oh that's right, that's right. The fucking yeah. The fucking, uh, stomping on the bad guys. And Isaac to kill him off. But, I mean, yeah, that fucking sealed the deal for those guys. I really need to go back and, like, give it, do an honest-to-goodness playthrough of Dead Space. Because I've played a little bit of it, but I've, I need to, like, do a full and proper playthrough. That is something that I, I, I owe to myself and those around me. And we got Single Plat over on YouTube. What's up, Single Plat? Love the visuals in the game. It's a very pretty game. I think they did a very good job. Lots of interesting stuff in the background. I mean, of course, the the gore is like out of this world and like disgusting and 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 visceral and over the top. I mean, that's fun. But like, there's just so many moments in the outdoor sections where you see the swarms of the gargoyle enemies flying around and the missiles getting launched in the background and and the artillery. Like, it's there's a lot of cool shit. At any given at any given moment. Um, just interesting things to just look at. It's it's a very detailed presentation, which I think is really remarkable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm having so much time. Having, having so much fun gawking, I almost just walked off the cliff. But, no, they did a great job with this game's visuals. No doubt about it. And big stop. There we go. Go with the execution. Oh, someone else got it. That's perfectly fine by me. Take this guy instead. And again, I really appreciate that this game... I, I know that some people have had a few, uh, like, odd crashes from time to time. Um, I think some people were having it crash on startup. Like, you know, like, after, like, the first intro cutscene. Uh, some people were having issues, but I have had zero crashes with this game. Um, it runs really smoothly. There's a... F there have been a few moments where the frame rate dips maybe a little bit under heavy, heavy action in multiplayer. But in single player, I don't think I ever saw the frame rate drop at all really remarkable so um it like is very stable it's, it's pretty optimized like i don't have i don't have it on uh, max settings at all i've got it like on such a pretty medium uh visual settings but yeah i, I think it's it's, uh, it's like they've done a really good job in not even just making the game pretty but just very very uh functional 
and uh, and and like pain free because so much of the time when a new game like this drops especially like a big budget game like this there's an understandable amount of uh of frustration when it's like you know when a game like that is glitchy or crashes or looks like shit or has stuff missing this is a kind of a rare what feels like a rare case in today's day and age where the game launches and it's in really good it's in a really good shape and it plays well and it delivers on what it wants or what it promised that is see i'm really vibing yeah good good call on the devs yeah for sure same developers as world war z which I did not realize, but yeah, apparently World War Z same devs, and you see some of the same technology being used with the way that the bad guys swarm together, and the way they'll climb over each other, Objective and like make side. pyramids to, maybe not pyramids, but like honor, climbable spaces That's where they can cool. reach over walls when they're like climbing over each other. Lesser, yeah, launch bugs. Yeah, exactly. Like honestly, I was ex I was bracing for some like some Damn some it. fuckery. Nothing I remember launching the game the day the day it became available before stream just to make sure that it would work and to make sure that there'd be no like crashing bullshit just to make sure like there was nothing awaiting me but no I, it's really been perfectly fine and again i've got my settings turned i would say high but not like max settings at all i think i've got a number of things set to medium and still the game looks remarkable so i've got a 6800 xt gpu i've got a um, Ryzen 7 5900 XT, or, or, yeah, 5900X CPU. So I've got, like, pretty juicy computer, but, yeah, not, like, amazing by any stretch. Like, a reasonably modern, but, yeah, not top of the line at all. So, yeah, devs did a really good job. And I think they're working on an accessibility patch to add more accessibility options, which is always a welcome sight. Um, and I think there is a hot fix that's going live later today that does address a couple of the bugs that people were seeing. Because I was I was definitely seeing a few people uh, reporting that yeah, like it would crash for some users after the very first cutscene. For some folks, there's like black bars when you first get to the, the main menu. Just a, a few like kind of errant visual bugs that some people have reported. Um, might be for older graphic cards. Wouldn't wouldn't surprise me if that like was a, you know, maybe not like the kind of thing that was a super common thing, but still some percentage of the user base is reported. So. Found medical supplies. Um, was that a source or what was that? No one else wants to grab it. Oh, wait. I had to cancel that. I was like, wait, no, don't I don't interrupt what's going on here. Time for the big guy. Unseen eyes taking the shot. I want to like get over here so I can detonate that shit. Unless I can pick it back up. Um, no, I cannot. Looks like he's done the same thing. Yeah. Oh right, these guys. Yeah. Then then the then the little fellows start popping in. Yeah, over here. Over here is where my guy is. Such a cool attack. Although he's getting like slapped around really good. I'm trying to like clear out the bad guys so that they, my, my homies, can kind of focus on damage and shit on the big guy. He does get that first heal, but I think that's the only one he gets. Yeah, we're all trying to. Oh right, he does this. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. Uh, unfortunately, that was a little bit too far away. Got him? Yeah, he's got him. Ouch. 
He's trying to go for a heal. This. This one, I think, we're in the clear. More of them spawn to take their place. Goddamn. Get him real quick, get some armor back. Okay. This again. Ouch. Punish. Be nice and vulnerable. There we go. Yeah, that's, a, that's not an easy fight, honestly. I imagine that'd be like incredibly hard if you were playing it solo. Yeah, trying to do a nice balance between fighting the big guy and going for the the swarms as they're spawning in. Excellent work, brother. Brother, the oats. Brother, can you spare some oats? And there he is. The, the beast has been felled. And not a moment too soon. Brother Maisie, spare some loops. I, I like that one too. The oats and the loops. Something being spared, that's all we ask. Loops. I appreciate the extra detail of the umlauts, Aaron. So that is always a welcome sight. Also, Aaron did redeem red. So red, we're tagging in, bro. We bring that up. Can you spare some loops? Is that the one with like the like the the, the cat with like the big the big tum tums? He's got his tum tums out. I like that one. Look at that zero incapacitation. We all tied on. Spe that's actually really cool. We all shared special kills. That's very that's very sweet. Very pleasant. There we go. There we go. Yeah, my range damage was was dog shit, but we were definitely going very hard on melee. 35 gold thingamajiggies. That might be enough to unlock the aesthetic that I'm desiring so deeply. To make my, um... It's a weird clicking thing. Clicking noise we're hearing. Um, yeah, to make my guy have, like, the fun Valentine's Day kind of vibe. That was weird. Yeah, I, I had to hit enter to skip it. But it did give me the mastery point for the chainsword, as well as the standard bolt pistol. So that squad did not choose to the squad back up with me. They were tired of looking at like my offensive to the eyeballs color scheme. So here's what I was going for. If I wouldn't have gotten like kicked off at the last minute there, I probably would have said their armor. I probably would have said something like the Astartes chapter. Actually, for armor sets, what do we get for this one? We got a new breastplate or backplate rather. Cool. Got that, which is nice. So yeah, I would have done that, and then I would have said for this guy. Um, for the helmet, I would probably leave the helmet purple. The backpack, I would probably do. What, what haven't I done already? We've already done light blue. We've already done green. We've already done yellow. We've already done orange. We've already done red. Maybe that. Have that olive color. And then the breastplate. I could just do standard blue. You know, I'd probably switch. Probably switch that. Probably make that like the standard blue. Or maybe. I don't want to do like a dark color. Because like, no, no. The whole point is to be clown vomit. The whole point is to be like ob obnoxious and stupid. So I'd probably give that orange. Or no, no. That one. And then switch that leg out. And that one leg that is currently that same orange, I'd probably make that the standard blue. 
there we go. So that's that's more what I was what I was originally envisioning for this character. There we go. However, however, like I was saying, we might have what it takes to buy a like a standard just plain white. We have those. We could also go towards that pattern. Which is rather tempting. This is Oh, that's a tertiary color. I need I need a primary color. Uh, white scar color pack. Item is locked. I think this would work. 30 and 40. We have the exact number. So let's see if we can make it happen. Emperor Zerg and Trapjaw from He-Man. Yeah, but what about now? <laughs> what about now? I the 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 purple helmet with the with the, with the, with the like the skull aesthetic also kind of gives me like a Star Scream kind of vibe. It's good to see you, by the way, Johnson. Yeah, fucked up Megazord. Yeah, uh, Jet was saying earlier we look like Voltron. Yeah, we have purple, but yeah, there's no pink. There's no pink. I'm as sad about it as you are. If I go into this menu here, you can see we can scroll through the available colors. There's like whatever this is, which is like kind of an implied. I don't know, maybe or like this one. They call it Death Claw Brown. It almost looks like a very faded red, faded pink, but it is more of a very light brown. But purple is what we got. So, so what we could do, we could do is something that kind of leans into the purple, white, and red. Do like a, a very romantic Valentine's Day kind of vibe. I went hot pink. Well, I think somebody looked it up last night. I think there is a. A uh, Space Marine flavor that is that uses pink. It's like a Space Marine chapter, like like the something something of ecstasy or something. I can't remember quite what it was called, but it was something along those lines. So the idea of getting somebody in here that that is a um, uh, getting like a, a a class of Space Marine in here that that has like that is like the bright pink available availability. I mean, not anytime soon, obviously, but maybe eventually. Maybe like as a as a future DLC, they'll make that uh make that available to us. Looking for Looking for something in the settings here. You, you, you can't see it on stream right now. I'm just kinda putzing around with this. Um maybe I'll mess with it later. I think that's exactly what I'll do. I was messing with something on on TikTok's options. I'll mess with this off stream. What's this? Yeah, something I could like change the resolutions because I don't like how this looks with the current setup. But that's okay. Close it for now. And then the other thing is to double check the uh, the data slate locations because there's still a few more we want to find. Do I want to play as this class again? I do like this class a bunch. We have perks available, but I can't buy it because I'm too poor. Better options for perfect parry? That sounds wonderful because I, I really enjoyed this class. Um, Yeah, this is the first one we did that was like an amalgamation of, of like vomit colors. I've really been enjoying the clown vomit, the multicolored Play-Doh kind of aesthetic. Assault your eyes with pink. Yes. Yeah, Angels, that's it. Angels of Ecstasy. Thank you, Meerkat. That's exactly it. Yeah, and this was like the try-hard guy we made at the very, very start. So, what I'd probably do, if we want to make, I, it would, I would say either Vanguard or probably Heavy would be my favorite classes. Let's make Heavy the really romantic one. How's that sound? So, let's say Edit Armor. Um, There's still like something like appearing as an exclamation point. It's probably because we got a couple new unlocked options. So... Maybe we could do... What do you think? What do you think? Should it be like a gradient like purple, red, white? Like a gradient from top to bottom? Because yeah, what we could do... Or maybe purple's in the middle. What we could do is something like this. Add the breastplate as a custom rule. Um, add that pauldron too. Basically add all the stuff as its own deal. Arms... You nailed it. You you name it, we can customize it. Pink, purple, and black for the Angels of Ecstasy. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. It's 
more of a kind of a faded gray. It'd be nice if there was like a more prominent white. A more like eyeball burninating white. And you can see that's that's the Deathclaw Brown. You can even see like in, in certain lighting especially, it's very, very dark. Oops. Something like that. And then the torso. The torso pretty much has to be purple. Let's be real. Torso pretty much has to be purple. And maybe the back is purple as well. And then maybe the arms are red. And then the head. Actually, the head should probably be like something that stands a little bit more. Maybe we make that one white as well. And it just doesn't feel very romantic, you know? I was it, we, it really needs some kind of pink. To to like really make this a uh, a, a true romantic, true uh, Valentine's Day kind of vibe. But this is the best we got, unfortunately. They play super loud rock music. That's delightful. Yo, what's up, Jim? Yeah, yeah, like original 40k minis. Yeah, like the yeah, kind of the pewter vibe. Yeah, that that's the kind of like I, I was hoping for something a little bit more of a of an eyeball burning nation option. Actually, I guess that would really go more prominently here. There's two colors. Probably that, and that. There we go. What? Where's the yellow for for like batching your piss? It's right here. It's right here. That's like for those who know. See, so yeah, if the idea is that this is like you know romantic and purple and and the colors of, of Valentine's Day, and flowers and roses, then you know for the normies they would see this. They would go, okay, I see what you're going for. But yeah, for those who know, they would see this yellow and they would say, ah, this is for no piss February. That's for those that batch their piss and save it for their, their significant others. Took them to a rock concert and no earplugs. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's that's like a that's like a. That's a that's a rookie mistake right there. Not knowing about the earplugs, although, like it said, if it, he just wasn't warned in time. But next time he'll he'll know for next time. I also wonder if I can, like, modify the colors of the pipes and whatnot. It sounds like I probably can't, though. And I put an emblem on my legs. And, of course, no patterns available yet. I, I suppose I can put a pattern here, but I don't have this one actually available to me. It's, like, selected by default, but doesn't actually show up. I wonder if there's another emblem that'd be more, more fitting. Let's take what we have right now. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't think to warn him. And I'm just thinking, like, yeah, if he's, like, kind of new to concerts, then it's like, well, this is how we learn. This is how we learn. There we go. So we've decked our guy out. Um, There is still the same thing here. Yeah, there's there's options to unlock. Um, Actually, no, we don't we don't have the... Oh, no, we have mastery points. I see now. Mastery points are, are shared across all the classes. This is for the standard pistol. Wait, no, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It is it is weapon specific. Never mind. I'm full of shit. So we would say the perk tree, but yeah, I don't have the points though. I don't have I don't have the gold fun monies to spend on these guys. Spread decreases, uh, damage increases against uh, terminus enemies. I'm assuming that means tyranids. I'm assuming. All right, so yeah, things for the future. I spent that hard earned money. Hard-earned fun money on making my guy look ridiculous, which is way more important. And then the other one, of course, is to see how we're doing on the data slate situation here. Time to can some pickles. There, there you go, Jim. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, an even more um, uh, a positive way to to view. Yeah, my, my legs are the... Yeah, it's just it's just one big 9-11 reference. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't like make anybody upset or or stir up any emotions, would it? Vox Liberatus is what we're doing next, and let me take a look 
at our at our stuff here. Because I need to go take a look at where these data suites are going to be located. I'm going to look them. I, I like to look them up ahead of time. Ahead of time, just so I have an idea of what to look for. So, back to this guy. I know you, that you guys can't see it because it kind of the the UI kind of covers it covers it up awkwardly, but it's going to be this one. Yeah, Vox Liberatus. So if I scroll down here, Vox Liberatus. So let's take a look. We can all look at this together. Boop. So step back from the elevator at the cathedral down the stairs to the right. This one. Yeah, this one here. So they say, oh my god, these ads. Set path from the elevator at the cathedral and down the stairs to the right. So once we get into an elevator in the cathedral, I think I'll probably recognize that when we see it. Then down the stairs to the right. So it's going to be in this little area. So watch for an elevator inside the cathedral. It's going to be down that little side there. That's the first one. Um, oh, and oh, there, but keep reading. At the bottom of the stairs... Or the, I'm sorry, at the bottom... Go to the left, up the stairs, and take the first left again. Data slate is right in this kind of a reddish room. Good to know. Good to know. So yeah, once we go down those stairs... The stairs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then data slate number two. Lower levels of the cathedral. We reach a large room with access... I think I remember this room. That's the one that looked like a Resident Evil 4 room. It's the hallway with 0-1 next to the sides. The one that's shining blue. And walk to the right. It's on the table here. So look for the zero one. one look to the right, next to the stairs. There we go. So that's the two we're going to be looking for. Cool, cool, cool. Let's back to the games. I think we've got the knowledge. Go ahead and set that as our next mission. And once again, if anybody wants to join, anybody that has this game wants to join in, you're welcome to do so. The join code is on screen here. There we go. Although it might fill up fairly quickly because, of course, this is just a... Um, the kind of thing that will just kind of throw us into an open lobby. Or, or, or throw other people into us as an open lobby, even. Okay, cool. And unfortunately, there's no way to restrict it, at least not, not that I'm aware of just yet. I think that's one thing they're going to hopefully be adding in soon. Some kind of way to, like, squad up with the homies intentionally. As opposed to just trying to time it fast. Oh, Meerkat, are you actually watching from the plane right now? Because I know you were saying that you had some, you had some traveling in your future. Even trash in the ground, but you can't reach it. I mean, to be real, I'm, I'm sure that the flight attendants have had to deal with worse. It is point zero two degrees right off my last so I would say not feel too, too bad. But also, maybe when you're deep planning, you'll be able to kind of reach down and grab it. Because it's kind of awkward while you're seated right now, obviously. So I have this available. I have the mastery points, but yeah, you still need to spend... The monies. Still need to spend this monies to actually make the mastery points happen. I'd like to mission via the, bat the battle map. Didn't I do that already? The mission is selected. Waiting for the brothers. Yeah, if anybody wants to join in, we do have an open mission. And I'm actually kind of surprised it's the first time really ever it's taken like a moment for the mission to, uh, to get going. Of course, if nothing else, it will autofill with CPU characters, AI-controlled characters, at the start. They'll just follow us around, obviously. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, because that would let me kind of play at my own pace, which is nice. Salamander Crest. Startis of Mars. Yellow armor and black skin. Actual black skin? That's dope. That's badass. Might buy the game eventually, Aaron. It is good. It's also expensive. It is an expensive game, because, you know, it just came out, obviously. But the reality, of course, is that once... Um, the holiday sale rolls around. I suspect this would probably be on sale for like 20% off or something. I don't think they'd hit us with a 50% off in just a few months, but I figure like a 10 or 20% discount. The holiday sale is probably to be expected. I'm 
on the plane as we speak. That's really cool, bud. If you have to drop off, as always, you know, I, I won't be offended, but it's kind of fun. Kind of fun you were still able, able to join us for part of the stream, bud. I know watching off of a phone in an airplane can be a little bit dicey, can be a little bit tricky. I know some airlines offer, like, free Wi-Fi. Others, you gotta pay for the fancy shit. And let's be real, it's not even very fancy. A lot of the times, the, uh... Download speeds are not the bestest. Much might, might want to wait. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, I mean the reality is that this game has been received very well, Our Fox and a lot of people are playing it. And I don't think that is going to evaporate anytime soon. I think people will be playing it well into the holiday times. And destroy whatever you know, performing groups online, and I'd still be down to play for sure. Like no question, I'd be down to join in for some games. But yeah, my, my general recommendation is if any, basically if, if like the game looks cool, then I think you will enjoy it. If, if you think it looks interesting, then yeah, it's something you would enjoy. Communications will be inhibited. Generally kind of what I recommend to people. Understood. Damocles out. Like if you enjoy Warhammer, it's an obvious buy, no doubt about it. If you enjoy Warhammer, it's like, it's definitely something that's that somebody would enjoy. And if, they're, if they don't know shit about Warhammer, but they like engaging and dynamic combat, Kind of like what I was describing earlier with Resident Evil 4, like that kind of style of combat where there's like, it's not just sit like, you know, stay rooted to the ground and like shoot bad guys. There's like, there's a lot of um, kind of pull and tug. There's a lot of of um, interesting like little moments, like little, little nuggets of interactions during combat that can be like very, very interesting. And also stressful, but like from the stressful moments, you like learn how to kind of deal with a lot of threats being thrown at you all at once, it's uh, it's it's very engaging. Something that would like be enough to grab him. Watching for the elevator, then we're watching for the zero one label, or the columns later on. The real gamers spend all their money on video games and sleep on the ground, says Meerkat. I mean, you're right. No, it is a good game. No, I, I fault nobody for prioritizing other things. That's maybe my favorite execution that any weapon can do. Any weapon class can do with, like, the smaller class of enemies. You just fucking uppercut them. And it is very satisfying. I'm not surprised that nobody was able to join, though. Um, off of just the open lobby, because it seems like these fill up, really, in no time. Nine times out of ten. That was satisfying. Like, the, the ground pound, like, come on and slam, like, that one's fun, too. But yeah, my favorite is just the one that just does that quick little uppercut. Just the fuck you uppercut. Suplex is pretty cool too. I like the suplex. Oh, this guy's ready for execution as well. I mean, I'm not one to deny you. But the suplex and like the, the knee to the face, those are reserved for the big boys. And the AI does a nice job of like leaving them for us to play with, which is kind of nice. So I think the elevator section is coming up pretty soon here. Of course, I don't think I can shoot past my guys. I think my bullets do get stopped by them, but they don't damage them. I'm gonna run past that guy so I can, I can execute him real quick. I don't realize he was actually vulnerable for execution. We will make it happen now, though. Let's go for the inflatable couch, says Meerkat. And we're not talking about the sex toy, right? Just to be clear, we're not talking about the sex toy. Sorry, I, you know, there, there's been a lot of news lately about, you know, couches having other uses. So when I, when I think something being inflatable, no, let's, let's do this. You know, my, my brain goes to uh, goes to other things. So my 
shield is about to go off, but that's fine. Still able to uh, get those little kills. to drop them. Catch. Just kind of drop back for a little bit, because, yeah, our guy is not exactly the kind of class that's all about, like, being up close and personal. We're more about standing a little bit far back and, and you know, shooting the shit, the shooting the piss out of these guys. All tyranny combatants eliminated. Ouch. Fresh magazine in. I said it was an enemy wave there, we're not kidding. Pop him real quick. Any other, any other stragglers? I think we're in the clear. We'll just proceed. A little bit messy, but we, we actually did pretty well, all things considered. Lost a little bit of health. Didn't have to use any of our healing, though, which is nice. I think the elevator is coming around. It's right here, so we need to see... There's a staircase leading down. Oh, this might be a different elevator, kind of thing. But... Grab that myself. The Dark Souls days. What what would the uh, what's the Space Jam reference for Dark Souls? It's probably like it's probably like one of the melee like big ass melee weapons fight. I guess this is for the objective. This is my mythical fourth win, says Meerkat. Eleven a.m. was the second wind. So many so many wins. Just don't break the wind. How do you hold those instincts? Yeah, I don't think it's around here. Understood. But one thing, this is where we first came from. So yeah, we need to take we need to take the elevator down then. We make a good team. Maybe when the elevator lands, maybe that's where that first data slate's gonna be. Also we got Arctic in the house. Arctic, did I see that you picked up this game? Because if you did, you'd be more than welcome to join and we do have some open slots. This is the operations mode. There's co-op and anybody can hop in. New path ahead. That is open season for anybody who would like. We just got this the two standard standard AI boys. And they're doing fine. Ornstein is smoke. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Unnatural. They seek to lurk in safety while we battle with the Tyranids. Let us cast down their foul barriers and pit our enemies against... A little bit busy right now. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Just thought I'd throw the invitation out. Because, yeah, we do have some open slots. If anybody want to hop on... Actually, yeah, just as a quick reminder, this menu here. So, yeah, so, so the invite code, or the join code, rather, is right there. So if anybody else wanted to pop in, if they have the game, they could join in if that was, that would tickle their pickle. Actually, hold on, no, let's, do, let's do a pistol. Reloading ammunition. There we go. We're not going to be going, we're not going to be spending a lot of time in this vicinity. We're going to be going down pretty soon here. I can't break those. Looking for any ammo supplies. I feel like I haven't really had uh, an ammo drop in a hot minute. Oh, actually, I say that. Right here. Obtaining armaments. 90 bullets. We'll take it. Oh, it's the big guy. I realized it was like that big guy. I thought it was just a standard big guy. Robin. Cosplay runs with your buddy. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that, that sounds awesome. Where you're wearing their armor. Because, yeah, I know, I know Ornstein's armor is, is like, is like super awesome. Like, it's a very, a very desirable set of armor because it looks badass, obviously. Speaking of looking badass, look at all this shit, man. It's the way that the, the gargoyles swarm around. Always so mesmerizing. They really nailed the background details with this shit. It's pretty sick. I think that's the next objective, but I'll see if there's anything down here. I don't think that there is. Okay, I think it's a dead end. Actually, I might be wrong. This might be... Maybe this is where we're expected to go. Just trying to make sure I don't miss the opportunity to pick up the data slates, because that's the big thing we're looking for right now, obviously. I'll go up and see if there's anything else over on this way. Doing some maintenance. Oh, is it for work stuff, Arctic? 
That's no fun. But important, so I understand. Even though it's not funsies, I understand its importance. I think I think we're dropping down. I think that's where we're intended to go next. We got Blake. What's up, Blake? It's a good game. It's a very good game. Yeah, I've really been enjoying it. We beat the main campaign uh, back on Sunday. So we're checking out the multiplayer mode right now. And actually, we have some open slots. Oh, here's the data slate. Oh. Damn, I'm glad I found it. Disciples of chaos, chant and shriek in Cause I didn't realize this was the elevator they were talking to, telling us about, but that's the kind of the red-hued room. They hinted. There are a few of us survivors. We got. We needed. I'm glad I didn't jump down. Then I would have missed it. Cannot yet find. Eric did I ever play Space Marine One? I did. We played Space Marine One uh, about three or four weeks ago. We played it all the way through as like in anticipation of this game because we knew we'd be get, we were going to be playing it at launch see i i got i got like boned up on space marine one and got to see like all the all like the uh the, like the story events you know all the all the lore significant lore events that happened in space marine one that kind of led into space marine two which was pretty nifty honestly like there is there's like this is not exactly a game that you play Exclusively for the story, obviously. Like the, I think the story is cool. That the the lore is interesting, but it's not like the main draw for most people. But um, but I'm glad I, I played through Space Marine One because there was a lot of moments that hit especially hard, knowing their significance. Certain characters appearing when they do, certain factions being mentioned. It's pretty cool. For the execute for this guy. Elite level Xenos. Pacify. Notice the guy's coming up behind me. Until the little notification thing popped up. Of course, the unfortunate de de details, I do not have a melee weapon right now. So when we're getting swarmed like this, a bit of an issue. We can do stuff like that to get our armor back. Uh, that did get interrupted, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, we're playing a class that is not the bestest at uh, getting swarmed like this. So now that we're surrounded by a bunch of big guys, it's a little bit dicey, but I think we'll be okay. Just because they do stuff like that, go for the execution. There we go. Yeah, once a, once a hole opens up, that's what she said, then we can just start swinging. Can't block that one, though, right? Once one of them gets weakened down for an execution, although that was, that was very blurry, it was hard to see what was happening. Of course, it's very dark in this particular corner. There we go. Let's continue then. So the other sequence we're looking for is going to be the area with like the labeled columns. We're gonna be looking for one in a fairly large room that is labeled, I think, one through three. There's gonna be a particular data state we're gonna be looking for that's next to the uh, the the column labeled one. Well, grab the gene seed. That's very Object useful. Identified. Astartes progenoid. Some more resources for future us. And it'd be this way. Played it on PC. Yeah, I played on PC as well. That's awesome. That was how you started on, got it started at Blake. Yeah, that's a good one. Now we did play Bolt Gun. Yeah, I played Bolt Gun last year and I loved it. And I checked out the new expansion that dropped a few months ago. We played the expansion as well. Bolt Gun is a very fun game. It may not be like the most lore appropriate game necessarily. No, now that I know a bit more about the kinds of the kinds of things you face in that game and like how there, like some of the some of the standard enemies you fight over and over in that game are like uh, this guy got weird. some of the standard enemies you fight like very often in that game are like very very high level and make no make no sense to be like showing up that in like that great of number like Lord of Change, the fact that you, you can like take down take down multiple Lords of Change in Bolt Gun kind of flies in the face of what exactly a Lord of Change is and their significance. So it's like I understand it's 
It's not like always the most appropriate, but it's still very fun. It's a very fun game. And of course you play as a Space Marine, which is awesome. This is more satisfying. Yeah, I'm 100% with the Arctic. Because yeah, Space Marine 1 is fun, and yeah, it gets pretty repetitive at the end. And I'm glad the game didn't overstay its welcome because it's not very long. This game is, is quite a bit longer. So I feel like, yeah, this game had the length, ooh, ooh of Space Marine 1, th then uh, then I'd be disappointed, or vice versa. If, if Space Marine 1 had the length of this game, it'd be like a bit much. All right, I'll just go ahead and grab this real quick. Grab, grab the quest item. There we go. Stand over next to this thing so I get some armor back. I see, I know I can, I can win. I can win against this guy. Yeah, it was a fun romp. It was a fun romp, and of course, yeah, the, the, the orc emphasis on Space Marine 1 makes it extremely fun. Like, how, yeah, when those guys' heads pop, they, they summon one of those little sorcerer magic missile shots. But, uh, but yeah, Space Marine 1 was like a worthwhile playthrough. The orcs are hilarious. That's one of the few downsides I feel about orcs is that, like, they're so fun and silly, it's hard to feel threatened by them. The Tyranids in this game are a terrifying force of nature. As is the second group of enemies you end up encountering in Space Marine 1. Like, they're a legit problem to deal with. Whereas the orcs, like, they're a problem for sure, but, like, they're just so goofy and silly. Packing up equipment. It's hard to feel scared by them, you know? But it was still fun, though. Then there's Leandros. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll say nothing, but, yeah, Leandros's presence in Space Marine 1 is significant for sure. Then, then there's movies like Event Horizon. I've actually never... This will not shock you, Aaron. I've never seen Event Horizon. Um, I really should at some point. I've heard it's very, very, like, a very cool movie. And, like, also does some, like, very visually fucked up and interesting things. I know it's not for the faint of heart, but at some point it'd be cool just to see it for myself and, and like, try to, try to wrap my head around it. Because I've heard it's a fucking trip. Thousand Sons Assault Incoming. There was never like a second in command, like like a star scream by his side. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, the idea at first, of course, is the orcs. You know, the orcs are like the the the, the 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 expected and focused enemy at the start. But yeah, that uh, that changes after a fairly significant point. Oof. I was uh, I guess playing too slow because now we've got a whole host of bad guys. Got the flamey boys. Too much fun flapping my gab, talking lore, talking Warhammer shenanigans. And now we are getting a little bit overrun by a whole bunch of dudes. Ouch. I'm getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting slapped around really good here. There's a lot that spawned in. You know, is it because it's a massive enemy wave? That's probably why. I'm starting to see that there are some pretty harsh limits. To, uh, to the heavy class when you're by yourself with no human players. Because the AI does fine, but, um, yeah, it's like there, there's, I, I'm seeing some limits to my, what I'm able to bring to the table here. Especially with no melee weapon, I'm, I'm limited by what ammo I have available to me. Go ahead and use this thing, put a shield up. to just kind of power our way through these bad guys. Thankfully, a lot of them have already been weakened, so it shouldn't be too, too much longer. There we go. So I'm going to go past him and get this guy first. There we go. There we go. Yeah, somebody who was like Starscream. Yeah, like a second in command. Like a, like a, like a, a lancer to their yeah to their big boss. Like I, I understand kind of that notion of having like some kind of some kind of like big assistant buddy. Because yeah, it really was like by the time the the true big bad appeared, it really was just kind of them by themselves. 
Because that's all they needed. You know, they, they didn't need like any anything else to kind of throw around. Meerkat says, I'm talking shit on Leandros, but it's okay. I'm built different. I'm built by the Emperor's hand. I'm built different, bro. I promise. I promise, bro. Iron Halo. All right, now that I've like dicked around and kind of got punished for said dicking, I'm going to head right to the objective. I'm going to make sure we're not missing those columns we were labeled, we were mentioned earlier. It's going to be coming up pretty soon here, though. Event Horizon's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a movie I really should watch, I think. Do I have a favorite Space Marine faction? Unfortunately, I'm pretty un inexperienced in the ways of of uh, of of really just Warhammer lore in general. There's a lot I don't know. So of course I know about the Ultramarines because of this game, and I know of like what is it, the Space Wolves and the Blood Angels. Like I know about a bunch of them, but I don't really know shit about very many of them at all. So I still have plenty of little to learn. Look at these guys just just hanging out in their little. And they're and they're just hanging out, just just in their in their droves, in their little bubble, thinking they're just so so easy, just so safe. These guys are taken care of. There is, I think it's a crack grenade. Yeah, Let's grab this. Refilling magazines. See, I don't really have a favorite myself, but I've I've like heard like little little blips and snippets about several of them, about several Space Marine chapters. I appreciate how much how it, like there's a surprising amount of diversity across a bunch of the Space Marine chapters. I would kind of figure they're all just about they all are about the same basic kind of thing. But I'm impressed. There's like a lot of them have like different origin stories and different types of primarchs and different um secrets and mysteries in beneath the surface so no i i uh it makes me it makes me want to learn more it makes me want to like get learned it's almost too easy because the bad guys are supposed to spawn and they're, they're slowly coming in hot Now, now they're literally coming in hot. This big guy is being a big nerd. Hit him in the head. There we go. Go for the finisher. He's down next. I think we're ready for the interaction. Go for it. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was going to work, but I'll take it. Now, we are not invulnerable while we're doing that, though. Good to know. You're still very much vulnerable while that's happening, while those, those kind of story interactions are happening. Event Horizon is like an unofficial prequel to Warhammer. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. I didn't know there was like a... I didn't, I didn't realize... I mean, I guess I could kind of see how there's some commonality with like the, the style of storytelling and the kind of things that they show in that in that movie as being warhammer-esque i wouldn't have thought of it being like kind of a yeah unofficial prequel though it's very fascinating so quick heal grab that ammo to the cathedral post haste all thousand sons forces anyway enemy wave is coming in hot get inside first and foremost Armor boost. I see the bad guys have spawned. I'm just gonna say, you know what? We don't need that kind of negativity in our lives. Oh, except my guys are, are too excited. They're too excited to commence the vertication. They're in the elevator inside of. Uh, like, the call's coming from inside the house. The call's coming from inside the elevator. Son of our there we go. There we go. All right, wave bye. Bye, guys. Is this like, can I at least get the confirmation on that guy? Just kill his ass for no reason? Yeah, orcs are fun. Yeah. Well, the VHS on the VHS of Event Horizon, Game of Rails. The only downside with having like 
having it playing in the background in a case like that is that I'm gonna want to watch it. Like I'll 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 ignore like socializing, you know, in in lieu of of, of watching the movie because it, it's a movie that I've heard is like super super good. Somewhere it I'll I'll be an irresponsible party goer. I remember one of my friends did that once with The Wolf of Wall Street. He, we were playing board games, and he was like, L let me just put on a movie as background. And he put on The Wolf of Wall Street, and he needed to, like, turn it off after, like, ten minutes, because we were just, we were just mesmerized. I'd never seen the movie. And I was like, yeah, it's not, it's, maybe, maybe it works for, like, some movies. But the idea of having, like, one just on the background, it's like, nah, nah, nah. It's, it's too, it's too gripping. Nothing around here. My AI buddies are just going right for him, and honestly, I'm here for it. Uh, I'm actually doing pretty good. I'll go ahead and grab this now, I suppose, because normally I'd have to share this amongst a bunch of peeps, but in this case, it's all me. My AI guys are just fucking going. I'm going to check up here real quick. None of these things, but of course, I have the... Oh, I guess I got dropped, so it doesn't count anymore. Yeah, it's if you get dropped once, you lose the, uh, the, the gene pickup, which is a shame. Okay. Probably gonna be the next section then. Astral Knights are pretty cool. Necrons built a planet, a planet to destroy Earth. But the astronauts stop them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've never heard the astronauts before. Yeah, there's 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 lots of factions I know I've not heard of. And of course, there's like a bunch that are kind of like the lesser known space marine chapters. Because I, I was informed that yeah, there's like there's like a fuck ton of them in the grand scheme of things. There's like the big ones that everyone knows about. But yeah, there's um. There's like a bunch that kind of fly under the radar because there's like there, there's like the weird ones that kind of offshoots that are super obscure in the grand scheme of uh, like the overall scheme of the lore. In the Warhammer storytelling, so it's like because there's so many, it's it's hard to keep them all straight, obviously. I remember last time there was a bunch of stuff up here. Ministering eight. So we are full health. We are all set. There's minor spawns, but nothing, nothing too scary. Let's see what's over there. I do like that ground pound move. Crash landed their relic cruiser on the planet. That's pretty badass to take out the core of the world. That's impressive. From a single book. So a single book. It sounds it sounds like they feel like super badass, but um but yeah, probably not a lot of people would know about them, unfortunately. And I'm sure there's lots of of Space Marine chapters like that. That um, you know, for those who know, they're incredible, but yeah, for, for most of the rest of us, they fly under our radar, unfortunately. Someone catch! It's the flamey boys. Make them both sad. And make them both dead. You're next. Oh, camera kind of jumped around for a little bit there. I appreciate those guys just like sprinting towards us like they have a death wish. He was, he was blowing red. I thought that meant he was vulnerable for an execution. Now he is. It's nice they leave him for me. That's so nice. That's so considerate of them. Infantry termination protocol complete. Cult Terminator with Soul Reaver, I think is what they said. Big scary guy. Big scary guy with big scary weapons. That's what I call those. Probably nothing around the other side. I think that's going to have the big room that we're looking for. For our side objective. And go that way. Alright. Path is nice and obvious and clear.
I'll go ahead and just pick the same loadout so I can get a nice little refill. Can I see what the heavy plasma incinerator is like? Yeah, it has so little ammo. Of course, it overheats real quickly. No, I think I'll just stick with the, with the heavy bolter. It's just you get so many shots. It's so tasty. It's kind of it's kind of hard not to just go for it every time. The multi melta is also nice, but also pretty limited ammo stores. This is the big room we're looking for. Then let us spread our shields. Sweep the sublevels. The mutant and the herald. Hoping to like maybe sneak around a little bit. I mean, we're not exactly stealthy, but yeah, we didn't necessarily have to go right for pointing out to the bad guys where we are. Go ahead and eject him from existence. Relieve his head of the burden of existing. The thing looks so heavy. Let me let me help you out with that. Ready for next encounter. Oh shit! I was going to close this in like this. I wonder if we'll be allowed to to move around. Ah oh, shit! I think this is a problem. Can I execute him from here? No, I cannot, unfortunately. Just go ahead and pop him real quick. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we have to go down first, or maybe we have to go up first. There's number four. We're looking for something that is number one. Maybe floor. Maybe four is the is the indicator of the floor we're on. Yes, I think we're okay then. Yeah, we need to go up then. I guess going down. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, up, down. These are just directions. They all mean the same basic thing at the end of the day. We're going to be snipers. We're speaking of the goddamn devil. That was really satisfying. I I uh, managed to get the counter. We got the, the gun shot in the head punish. All the while, our, our bro is like just whipping up on that guy from the other side. So we're just kind of tag teaming. Very satisfying. Ouch. Pistol punish is always a fun time. Legion of the Damned is pretty cool too. Yeah, I don't think I've heard, think I've heard of them either. Oh, can't block that one. They're gonna finish him off, I think. Yeah, they, they went for him. Good. Just as long as someone does it. So we need to go this way. Oh. Big guys are bad news. Shame I did that didn't count as a as a as a parry. I mean it counted as a parry, but it didn't let me let me punish, unfortunately. Legion of the Hecht. They appear out of the warp covered in flames. Oh, that sounds terrifying, but amazing. Oof. There's a lot of dudes. That's a massive enemy wave. They were not kidding. Massive enemy wave. No heckin' kidding. Give that to you. For the punish. Next. So the guy's just kind of part way to, to let me seal the deal here. I got my AI guys coming in to assist. Getting a little bit overrun here. I mean, still, I might still get dropped. It's just so fucking heavy sometimes, my god. Getting our armor back finally. Yeah, that guy's not making it any easier though. Drop this guy. And of course the terminal we need is right here. They would they would spawn right in front of that terminal. Catch. Are we clear? Oh, not quite, not quite. Hey Bonnie. Hello, sweet girl. Oh, I, I can't pause. You can't pause in this game, right? <laughs> well, you can in the main game. But not in what is technically considered multiplayer. Hi, sweet girl. Bonnie, you're so sweet. 
Am I allowed to have my mouse hand back? This might be a little bit tricky. Bonnie's so sweet. When she wants lovies, it's like I can't really be mad at her. But also, oh, system reset. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that means we need to, we just need to get to where. Yeah, we need to get to the next objective quickly. I'm sorry, Bonnie. I have to I have to be I have to be mean and ignore you. To this guy in 20 seconds. There we go. Now we got there. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I keep falling behind in the chat because I um there's a lot of distractions getting thrown my way. But yeah, Legion of the Dam. No, it sounds cool. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm, I'm so out of loop when it comes to Warhammer lore. I don't know any, I really don't know anything about the major Space Marine chapters, much less the offshoots. All that I, all that I know about Space, about the Space Marine chapters is what is depicted in Space Marine 1 and 2. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm, I'm pretty out of the loop in the grand scheme of things. But I like what I'm hearing. Like, they all sound badass. To this course. Massive enemy wave has been indeed quite massive. Imperial Guard says they appeared from a warp storm like angels out of the darkness. And they're, I guess that means, that, I'm assuming they're good guys, because normally when I hear somebody appearing out of the warp, I assume bad news. Okay, now we're set. No one's ever heard of them. Maybe, maybe two books have referenced them. Yeah, and I've, uh, I, I would, it, it, it probably makes sense for somebody like myself to have never heard of them, given that I've, I've never, I'm, uh, there's, there's so much I don't know about Warhammer. Because, yeah, I've never read any of the books. I've never read any of the wikis. I, uh, the only knowledge I have of Warhammer is what people in the chat have told me about, and also just whatever's shown in video games. Because, yeah, I've never, like... I've really never like looked on like any of the official the official means of, of like learning the learning the deets. You know, I've never I've never watched any of the games workshop proctored animations or fan animations for that matter. I know there's like a bunch of really cool ones. Man, I'm getting my ass kicked. Holy shit. Playing as a solo heavy is really tough. With no uh, player characters. But um Oh, there's gonna be there. Don't like that. The massive enemy wave. I guess the massive enemy wave never stopped. Kind of weird that they're throwing two back-to-back -back heavy waves at us. Maybe it's tied to the objectives. That's probably why. I think we're just in the easy mode difficulty. There we go. He's weakened. There we go. The Raptors. Is that what they're called? They're just called the Raptors. Tactics is Navy, Navy SEALs, surveillance, camouflage. Sounds cool. CQC only when necessary. But CQC is so fun. This quarter combat is one of my favorites that we get to do in this game. But I get it. Like, it's it's probably like a specialization that is messy and puts people at risk. There's a lot of snipers. My god. Of course, I don't have the best for long range. Fresh magazine. What are we on? We're on floor one, so I need the, what we're looking for is going to be around here somewhere. Oh shit! Don't go through there. I think that'll. That's like the main objective. Can't remember exactly what the what the hint thingamajig said, but I know it's somewhere on this floor. So we'll just kind of scour this floor. I don't have the accuracy to shoot these guys. Oh, um, pistol. Somewhere around here. You can set it's on a table somewhere in this, like, main room. Probably somewhere over here. Well, the Legion said they co they're cowards because they, they focus more on tactics. Well, that's not really fair. Here we go. I found it. I'm trying to preserve their numbers, for one thing. If I had to guess. As far as, like, you know, to explain... Explain their... The decision-making process. Because, yeah, going into close-quarter combat is, you know, glorious. 
repository of all the and is and is and is awesome and badass but yeah it's you know it frequently is messy especially against enemies like the tyranids into his naked flesh not if you use guardian relic which is good royal has demonic entity they're very successful though yep if it gets results black templars are cool I know they look badass I like their color scheme but that's all I know Okay, so Farson is about Legion of the Damned. What have I done? They're super edgy and super brutal. He's looking at me. Yeah, all I know is, I mean, they look like edge lords, like they look like super badass, hot topic kind of energy with their uh, with their black outfits. But at the same time, I I, I understand the appeal. That's pretty sick. They appear only when needed and then vanish. Interesting. So when they appear, it must mean things are desperate, but also like you're bringing the big guns. He's got him good. We need to get into this little circle so we can begin the capture. This is going to be a mess. This was a mess when we had player characters with us, so it's going to be a mess with uh, with just AI. Oh, I should have grabbed grenades. That could warp over here and let me kick the shit out of him. That'd be really cool. Destruction confirmed. He's down. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off that sorcerer unless he warped away. He warped away like a big old meanie. Warp has time shenanigans. That's a good point. I forgot about that detail. Oh, there's the there's the uh, the fellow. when the sorcerer would appear. So they're trapped in the warp. Oh, okay. So it's not that they're... Confirmed. They, like, just are, are, like, whimsical and magical. They're, like, stuck. But I guess they're still able to sometimes escape. Or are they, like, choosing when to escape, I guess, is the thing. Because, yeah, if they're stuck and they're, like, trapped, well, that's a bummer. But if they're, like, able to use the warp to their advantage, like, you know, pop in and out whenever they want to, that would actually be much more useful. Required. Ammunition restocked. Wound has been healed. Much better shape. Gonna be throwing more bad guys at us very soon. Capture and defend. Here they come. When I said soon, I didn't quite mean now, but yes. It strikes at us! say if I can get the execution but still with it be within the circle as long as someone's in the circle oh. yep he's out I think the interaction is available I'll grab that in just the briefest of moments here I say we can't unfortunately kill that, but it is very annoying. The projectiles he's throwing at us. Kill one and like several spawn to take his place. Goddamn. For the next capture. He's gonna go for it. And be up top. A lot of scary noises. Scary noises behind me. I'm just going for the objective, though. Get Astartes queued up. Is Astartes a... Um, oh, is that one of, like, one of the animations? Like one of the fan animations? Because, yeah, I've never watched a single one. I've heard some of the books are pretty cool, and I've heard some of the animations are pretty cool, too. But I've heard it's kind of a mixed bag. You kind of need, like, need to know... You need like someone to recommend to you what's which ones to go for, which ones to avoid. Destruction confirmed. Yeah, no, it's true. I I really as far as things I've experienced firsthand, it's only been the games. It's like, you know, when people tell me lore, especially like while I'm streaming and you know, while we're playing games like this, like I, I try really hard to pay attention and internalize it, but the reality is that my attention's pretty divided, so you know, there's there's a lot that I'm sure I do miss. Yeah, this is the last one, isn't it? Put the shield down a little bit in a little bit here because it's getting very annoying. Lockdown sector. Brace for demonic bombardment. 
Available. I'm kind of surprised no bad guys. Oh, here they go. Kind of surprised no bad guys are coming here to stop us. Reality fish and vacuum tactics and the demon come we in good shape. I think that was the last one. I think we're good. Actually, it wasn't quite as bad as I thought. I feel like the elevator sections were a little bit harder relative to what that was throwing at us. Yeah, there was someone else that said the salamanders are cool. Crimson Fists and White Scars. I think those are mentioned in this game's uh, menus from where you can unlock other color palettes. <clears throat> Iron Warriors. They have a unique way of dealing with civilians. Is it murdering them, Meerkat? Because that's what I would assume unique means. Meerkat says they're landing soon. That's exciting. Hopefully it wasn't a super long flight. Also, I think we just have one data slate left in the grand scheme of things, and then we're golden. I think after that, we are in the clear. Didn't get the extra uh, gene uh, something something, the, the gene pickup item. Would have been nice, but uh, I, did, I, was, I was assuming that it went away if you get if you got like killed and had to be respawned versus just getting knocked down. I thought if you got knocked down, it didn't out. So unfortunately we didn't get that um, back unfortunately. I got knocked down three times, yeah, but still took a lot took somehow the minimum amount of damage and of course found all the items did a bajillion range damage not a whole lot of melee damage unfortunately and a fuck ton of special kills. So we got up to level four as a heavy which is pretty impressive. Level up the standard bolter, the heavy bolter that is. Little pistol, plasma pistol, very good. All kinds of cool stuff. Horus Heresy? Um, I don't think I know what that is. So the answer is no. I know I know the person or the character Horus. Wasn't that the one that betrayed the Emperor? So I know like a vague summary of what the dude is known for. But no, I'm guessing I'm, it's it sounds like it's a book. That's when the that's when the betraying happened, yeah. Is it a book or or maybe it's like a like a wiki article? Because no, unfortunately I've not done any, any reading. Recap. My remaining flesh parts. Does he trying to say that it gives him diarrhea? Because that's what my brain went to. Well, let's go ahead and indicate which mission we're doing next. Although I should probably do this part first, actually. It's a series of books. Yeah, I've, I've read zero books on Warhammer. Um, and I would like to at some point, but it's not a huge priority, to be honest. I, I enjoy the lore, but I don't know if I would want to spend, like, hours and hours reading through it, necessarily. But, uh, maybe someday, though. Like, I, I do enjoy reading, and there's, there's, the problem is there's a lot of books I own that I need to read first. So I'd probably do that before I buy new ones. White Scars are pretty cool. Very, very stubborn when they have a high-value target set. Sounds pretty badass. Coated in metal, stuck on a spike outside their fortress. Very, very Vlad the Impaler-esque. I can get down for that. Alright, so I'm probably not going to be playing as heavy for a bit just because I was kind of getting my ass kicked around there. Let's go back to Vanguard for a bit. And for one thing, I can level up a bunch of things. So let's say... Or tree, here we go. And I think this is per weapon, not necessarily per class. So this is just a good thing just in general. Across the board. So I'm guessing these will kind of link together. So I should maybe look further down to see what we're looking at here. Or it's like the next available skill. I'm assuming we can't jump up and down necessarily. So I need to, whichever one I pick sets us on the path for that first line. So over here, if I stomp, I do like the stomp ability a lot. They deal less damage for a bit. Heavy attacks destroy 100% more contested health. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Quick punch, front kick. Yeah, all, all of those things restore basically twice the contested health. I do like that. I do like them both. Melee damage goes up. When you have full armor, it goes up. I'm not going to have full armor very much. I feel like this makes sense. We'll unlock this guy. And then go for this guy. But yeah, I need, I need, the, I need the juice. 
then we have uh, more more damage or less damage, but better cleaving potential. Hmm. Cleaving potential sounds nice. But, yeah, I'm thinking like, I don't know, I feel like the cleaving, the cleaving potential is already fine for the chainsword. I just don't think of the chainsword as being like a crowd just cleaver, you know? I, I think of it like being able to kill the first couple of guys in front of me. I feel like I should lean into what it's already good at. So let's go for this one. And of course, it looks cool. That's got like the cool little yellow stripe. But apparently we have like this one. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, for a minute that wasn't showing up. Yeah, so I think I guess we have this for all any instance when we have the chainsword. What the combat knife to have we leveled this up? No, we have not. So we'll go with this one. Even though it means like we'll just be locked in forever. Because of course that's way cooler than this guy. Or this guy. Or this guy. Actually, some of these are pretty badass. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this one more for now. And bolt pistol. I don't have a ton of monies right now, unfortunately. I can go ahead and spend the mastery point. Or I can do one of these. The same kind of thing here. What would I ultimately look towards? Back with back during Rogue Trader, gotcha. Pull a bunch about relationship deals that are helpful to know about, but there's it's three books. Well, it's actually several books, and after the first three, the chronology gets a little bit silly. Yeah, now I, I probably wouldn't make that a priority necessarily, but it, it is good to know just in general. Good to know that it, it's out there. Maximum spread goes down. Damage increased by 10 against Terminus enemies. Terminus. Yeah, I remember looking at that last time and not being sure exactly what that means. Maximum spread goes down. You deal more damage versus... Yeah, I'd probably go more towards this one. So let's go that guy. Go and unlock it. Shazam. Uh, so we have that for next time. And... Right. I'm five fun money gold points short. I'm getting one of these, unfortunately. Like how the placement of the parchment and the and the uh, the stamp have greater bearing on which stats get enhanced. It's kind of fun. Then heavy does have something with the heavy bolter. Same thing here. We do have one of the mastery points. We we'll use one of these. They cool faster or the heat decreases quicker. I think we were saying that I wanted to do. Oh wait, no. This was this is separate from the. Plasma pistol. The plasma pistol has had the one that was cooling versus overheating. Perfectly timed. I'd say equipped weapon is completely cool. That sounds nice, but not a huge deal breaker necessarily. Melee damage goes up by ten. I kind of like this one as a contingency plan. Cools faster, but it generates less heat. I don't know. I feel like I feel like this weapon being overheating is not a huge issue necessarily. Ammo reserves goes up. Headshots deal more damage. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of more my speed. Don't have any of these, unfortunately. Nice thing is we were able to... We do have this fun skin. You see the preview? I was hoping he would hold, he would hold the weapons in the preview. Of course, I'm definitely too cheap to afford any of these guys. There's apparently something else. Oh, because we got more... We got more stuff unlocked, didn't we? We have new war gear, which is exciting. We have this guy. That's up a little bit higher. It's like a goalpost. Sure. We got two levels, I think. So we would get maybe a little bit more, but I guess it'll, tell, it'll straight like uh, tell you. Um, six missions in operations mode. Oh, it's not level specific. It's you have to do stuff. Yeah, completing missions versus gaining levels. It's actually kind of nice. Oh, and then there's Eternal War mode, which is how you unlock even more stuff. That makes sense, too. Okay. So anyway. Now we know. Now we're all set. So I'll probably go back and forth between Vanguard and Heavy.
trying to encourage people to learn the lore, yeah. I mean, it, it is fascinating to me. It's just so dense is the problem. It's dense and it's also like, you know, a big commitment, obviously. Going in on an, an entire series of books, so. And I'll never say never, but I also don't want to make it... I, I don't want to overpromise. And, uh... And, and make it sound like it, you know, I, I, like something is going to be queued up soon. Because, yeah, the reality is, you know, of course, with limited free time, it's something that a lot of us experience a lot, you know, only so much time for hobbies. And, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of books I would like to read, especially the books I already own. But unfortunately, they take a backseat to streaming, which, of course, is the most, you know, the hobby I enjoy the most. And then second behind that is video games. I, I never really play video games outside of streams because I just don't have the time for it, unfortunately. But trying to, trying to like, you know, squeeze time in for extra hobby stuff is something that, that would be nice. I'd have to invent more hours of the day, unfortunately. Also, the last one we're looking for, and there really is just one left. It's going to be under the fall of Atreus. It's going to be the first mission. I'm, the, I'm sorry, the first data slate in that mission. Casual enjoyer. I am, I am, an, I am the definition of a filthy casual. Just got to pump the knowledge into the brain. Well, we were talking earlier about the lore dumpers, which... Sounds like a less than flattering phrase, but it's a it's it is a it is a class of a viewer and or chatter that is genuinely hopeful. Like again, I, I feel a little bad that I can't really commit a whole lot of energy to internalizing the Warhammer lore, especially because you know we I, I play an, a Warhammer game from time to time, but the Warhammer games we tend to play aren't like crazy heavy on the lore. Rogue Trader is probably the most probably the one that had us dive the deepest, but of course that was almost a year ago by this point, so a lot of that has unfortunately fallen by the wayside. Um, I would like to to pick that game back up at some point and, like, to go back and finish it. It's a really long game, and they're about to come out with a new expansion, which will add a fifth or maybe even sixth chapter. So, uh, there, it's a long game, and it's about to get even longer. So it's impressive kind of what they're working on, or what they're what they're able to, uh, to put out here. So, let's see, what was that mission again? Um, I think it was this one, Fall of Atreus. This will be the first one. Let me double check, just to be sure. I'd, I'd feel awfully silly if I went all this way and forgot. Forgot the deets. And it needs to wait for the moment when somebody else makes some kind of Warhammer claim and I correct them. I think that almost happened the other day when somebody made some kind of mention about the events in the first game. And I got to do the- I got to pull the um actually moment, and I just pushed my glasses up onto my nose. Um, but that's because it's more the game that I played as opposed to, like, you know, the, the lore that I had first- first-hand experience with. So back for this one, Fall of Atreus. And... Let me show you this here. So, we're gonna look for this one. We're looking for the first data slate in this one. All the main objectives, you'll jump down in the church at a loadout drop after using the crane to lift the rocks. Instead of going towards the objective, go behind the place you drop down from, and you'll find the data slate at the end of the room, behind the statue in the middle. Good to know. So that's the one, we, that's the one we've missed so far. I think we might be launching, maybe? I, I'm hearing things happening. We'll check in a second here. So once again, jump down to the church at a loadout drop. After using the crane, so I need, I need to remember using the crane to lift the rocks. Instead of going towards the objective, go behind the place where you drop down from. You'll find the data slate at the end of the room. So it's after you drop down. Yeah, it's after you drop down. Because obviously that's like a broken bridge. You can't climb back up. Okay. Got the knowledge downloaded into my brain. Um, and once again... We have an open... Oh, 69. Nice. We have an open... Um... Lobby that anybody could join. 69KS2. will throw us in. We squad together. Um... I wonder... Oh... Wait, recent players? No recent players. No block players either. I mean, I definitely played with people recently. Which way recent players is empty. Um, I'm wondering what that little key thing means. Does that mean like was, was that mean I was like playing under some kind of locked, some kind of like locked mode where, where I had to like provide a password? That doesn't seem right. I wonder if that's what that means. It invite players, of course. That'd be based on my Epic Games friends list. Yeah. You see that? You probably can't see that overlay, can you? Oh, you can see the overlay. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
So I will leave that off if it matters. It probably doesn't, though. Because, yeah, it's weird to me that the... That uh, earlier we were having no problem getting randos in, but uh, for whatever reason, the matchmaking isn't um, isn't throwing a lot of people our way. Yo, what's up, Cax? By the way, over on YouTube, good to see you, bud. Can you listen to the first couple books on audio? They're they're probably available in audio, like in some kind of audio tape form. I know there's some audiobooks that are just available on Spotify, but I don't have Spotify. But if nothing else, yeah, there's audiobooks. But for road trips, that kind of thing. I don't do road trips all that often, but still. Every once in a while, it does come up. Farsight says they have a ton of knowledge. Yeah. I mean, your your screen name is a reference to Warhammer in some way, isn't it? Matchmaking. Oh, maybe that's what happened then, Cax. Oh, shit. Gotta restart the game. Let's try that then. Thank you. Thank you, Cax. Yeah. Over on YouTube, Cax was saying this is a known bug. This is a known bug. Because, yeah, we didn't get anybody the previous round. It was very strange. Matchmaking just kind of fucked, fucked itself out. So we'll, uh, we'll close out and then relaunch the game. But thank you, Cax7 over on YouTube. Very, very helpful. Little notification about that. Because I was wondering if there was something in mind if I had somehow, like, locked the lobby out. Is it if someone left the party and we were the last one left. Thankfully, I don't think that happened last time. But I remember the the first match we played tonight, there were two people, and when we loaded back in from that game playing, they uh, for when the, when the game ended, that is, they were both gone from the lobby, so they might have they might have like left kind of in between and put the matchmaking in that state. Also, the game is being a little bit squirrely now. I have to bust out Task Manager. It's being it's acting like it's kind of not really closing. Come on, game, can you do it? I was just saying, the game has never really given, given me any problems, and this is the first time. Yeah, there we go. It actually did close properly. No crashes. It took its sweet, sweet-ass time. Okay, and then... Actually, let me make sure... Okay, I was going to say there's a chance that a patch might be live right now, but it is not. Here we go. Take it right back up. Usually I leave the lobbies first, says Cax, yeah. I mean, actually, uh, when we were playing last night, it was actually kind of nice. We had a couple people that just stuck with us for several matches. And it was kind of nice. We had kind of a camaraderie going with a couple of, uh, of folks who, who, who joined in, which was nice. But, um, but yeah, I guess that's the thing. It's like if, they, if I know that I'm going to be doing something different or that the, the lobby is going to be disintegrating afterwards, I should be the first one to leave to prevent the shenanigans from happening. And sure enough, Commander Farsight is a, is a Warhammer reference. That does not surprise me. I don't know what the reference is necessarily, but I know it's... I know there, there's been a few other people who have picked up on it. Yeah, playing with friends is pretty smooth, says Cax, but playing with randos is a little bit tricky, unfortunately. Yeah, co-op matchmaking can be a little bit tricky, jumping in and out of parties, yeah. I imagine that's probably one of the first things that they'll try to address with some subsequent patches. I know this is a patch that they announced, I think earlier today, that's going to shore up some of the graphics and like visual bugs that have caused, um, caused some issues with like certain graphics drivers where the games might crash after certain cutscenes for, for like a small number of players. So I've seen that kind of thing affect some players, but I think it's fairly, fairly, uh, uh, rare, excuse me, fairly rare in the grand scheme of things. But no, again, thank you to Cax7 for pointing that out because knowing this is that a known issue and that it wasn't something in my end. To be honest, it'd be nice if they did. I, I think it would be nice if they added more controls for matchmaking. If you wouldn't have said it to, say, friends only or set a password or something like that. Because, um, I mean, I know in this squad screen right now, I think it'd be pretty easy to get a group together. But yeah, once you like set a mission to go, I think it just pretty much launches you into the into the open area the open uh, ecosystem of people that can join free games. There's the join code if anybody listening in wants to join in. And I don't suspect that will change when I do this. But yeah, right there, people instantly get launched in. So yeah, it's it's uh, there's very little, very little spin-up time. 
This is the co-op that EA was hoping for in 2009. Uh, for what, for which game, Jim? Because I wonder if there's like a particular game, or if you mean just EA games in general. Let's see, what have been, what would have been some popular EA games in 2009? I would, I would have been in college for that. I guess Call of Duty? No, no, not Call of Duty. That's, or wait, is that Battlefield? Um, switch classes. So I can't be Vanguard? Because that's the one I wanted, I wanted to play. Oh, there we go. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. So instead of, like, them joining my game, I join theirs. Welcome to Warhammer Space Marine 2. Thank you. I've never played this game before. It shows as red. Waiting for Battle Brothers. They're here. Oh, there's a conflict. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Here, let me... Um... Return to Battle Bars? How do I change classes? This way, probably. Um, shit, I don't know how to change classes. Oh, probably armory, but yeah, 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 that way. So we'll be, what do we have right now? We have whatever, I think that's tactical. It's tactical. I will be, I guess I'll be heavy. We were saying heavy was pretty fun. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Oh shit, I realized I fucked up because, <laughs> yeah, I think I think I tried switching off and uh, the other guy tw switched to the same class. Sorry about that. I'm fairly sure that my push to talk works in the lobby right here. I know it definitely works in game, like when we're in a match. Just, just in general. Oh, just for online stuff. I'll be honest, I, I wasn't really playing any EA games at the time. Online or otherwise. So I don't know if I ever experienced firsthand any shenanigans. With their online co-op. But it doesn't surprise me. I mean, that would have been around the same time where EA was not exactly known for being in the good graces of gamers. They, they had like... They were winning polls like year after year of being like the worst company in existence. Which, to be fair, you know, they're up against companies like... Spectrum and Verizon, you know, ISPs, which are, you know, usually shitting their own right. So it wasn't exactly a fair comparison, but still, everyone fucking hated EA back in those days. Mass Effect and Dragon Age, that kind of stuff. Yeah, those would have been the co-op games. Well, actually, were they co-op? I guess I don't know if they were co-op, but those would have been the big games for sure. Was Bioware EA? I think they were, I think that was published by EA, yeah, I think so. I think that's it, yeah. If I might be so bold as to interject, Lord Titus, that battle barge dates back to the Great Crusade. Yeah, man, that was that was like a dark time for sure. I think that was before Ubisoft started to like really show their true colors of being like an evil fucking company. Because I think most people nowadays, it's like, eh, I mean, EA, they're, they're, you know, no one really has anything good to say about them, but not necessarily anything bad to say either. So it's somewhere in between. be returned to your care. But yeah, nowadays, like, Ubisoft, like, there's, there's Blizzard, for one thing, Jesus fucking Christ, yeah, that was before Blizzard really started to shit the bed, so, yeah, Ooh. 2009, man, like, that was, that was a different time. Yeah, do you like the Bulwark, that, or, yeah, not the Bulwark, the Vanguard, that might be my favorite class. Vanguard's pretty fun. It might not always be a smart choice, but it's so fun. They were purchased by EA. Oh, so they're straight up owned by EA. I didn't realize that they were like, it was a uh, straight up ownership thing. So in that case, yeah, that's exactly it then, Jim. Yeah, you nailed it. Hitman agent. What if he likes the Hitman series? I bet he does. Some armor? Yes. It's also very dark in here. So I'm looking for where we can drop down. Tread carefully, brothers. These caves can be unstable. After using a crane to move some rocks. In fact, yeah, probably not here. That's the, that's the big key we're looking for. It's going to be the first data slate. So it'll be coming in hot probably fairly soon in the grand scheme of things. Ammo. It tickles me that I have 
we're, we're playing as the heavy character, yet we have the full somersault as opposed to like the lunge. So a lot of classes get the lunge as opposed to a full on like roll around, like uh, like roll around at the speed of sound kind of animation. Yeah, somewhere around there was when the purchase happened, yeah. I mean, I don't think all Bioware games were bad beyond that point. I mean, that would have been... Was Mass Effect 2 out by that point? And in fact, for that matter, even Mass Fresh Effect 3. I know that... I know the ending for Mass Effect 3 was a bummer for a lot of people. Stop but I think most people would agree it's still a solid game overall. Also, Dragon Age... The, the second Dragon Age game I heard was still pretty good. But that was in spite of EA being bullshitty. Not because of them, obviously. Got the gear. In fact, that was part of the problem with, um, what was it, Mass Effect Andromeda being a shitfest because, Ma because the Dragon Age Inquisition, I think, was pretty good. I think that was the general consensus. I've never played it, so, you know, I'm just parroting what I've heard, but I think the general consensus is that Dragon Age Inquisition was, like, a pretty good video game. And it was, and the development cycle for that game was fucked and full of crunch and was just poorly handled. But despite all that, it came out pretty good. And that is kind of an issue because it empowered um, EA and Bioware to be like, oh, cool, we can just like treat our employees like garbage and it's fine. Like, you know, we'll still turn out a, a really good product. So they just assumed naively and, and hubrisly, full, in, a, in, a, in a way full of hubris. That they could just, you know, be shitty and not suffer any, any consequences. Then Andromeda happened and they were like, oh fuck. This was a horribly managed and, and fucked up development cycle and we're paying the price for it. So that was, I think, around the time when everyone started to realize, like, oh man, getting bought up by EA. Not a fun time. See, I think I can still do some kind of cool attacks. To be honest, I didn't really think that I had that stomp, though, which is nice. Yeah, th these guys are a pain in the ass to deal with. A very unpleasant foil for heavies. I have to stomp around a little bit there, but we got there. We got where we needed to get where we needed to be. Break these things open? No, I cannot. Going this way? Is that bridge just broken, isn't it? Oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, this seems like the correct path. Uh, there is healing, though. I am gonna grab the medical state. Yeah, oh, the gene seed, yes. Good call on the gene seed, yes. This was definitely worth snagging for sure. Grab that. Catching the gene seed. Almost missed it. Uh, it provides extra spirit points and whatnot. Confess I didn't quite catch that. Worst company, yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, over Bank of America, over ISPs. Yeah, it was a whole. You copy that? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I didn't have my uh, no, my push talk. What was that? Oh, the DNC just provides extra SP. Yes, yes, and I think I learned last time that if you get, you don't even have to get killed if you just get like knocked down once I think it goes away because at first I thought it only went away if you get like straight up killed and you have to respawn but I think yeah if you get knocked down once it uh it's it's very temperamental but the extra experience is pretty sweet make sure we don't get knocked down <laughs> yeah the answer the answer is to just not get shot not get hit by bad guys it's you know real easy But yeah, no, I remember that shit. Yeah, that was like... And I think they won that award multiple times over. I don't know if it was a magazine or a website. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was some kind of thing where, yeah, they were up against several, like, you know, companies that nobody has anything good to say about. And um, it was because, yeah, EA was like... Like, they, they were bothering that many people. Like, were they objectively as bad as these other companies? Eh, you know, maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say. But, um, but yeah, it was like a sign of just how much they were pissing people off and how, 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 how greatly things had fallen back in those days. Route unblocked. We have a visual on the battle box. 
I do appreciate that you can just straight up murder the, um... Oh, this guy. You can straight up murder their shields, which is helpful. Must be after the sequence with the Dreadnought, then. Not surprising. I thought it would have been before the Dreadnought, but yeah, there was never any, any moments that the cranes were popping in. Yep. He's ripe and plump for an execution. I shall provide it to him. Yeah, they're, it's just a sign they're pissing people off. I mean, the reality is that, like, those kinds of... Those kinds of polls, like, you know, it's, it's a popularity contest, or in this case, an unpopularity contest. So, you know, is it accurate, per se? Eh, debatable. It's more of just a measure of just, yeah, how, how much you fucked around and how much you're finding out. That guy's ready for execution. I shall deliver. Oh, never mind. He's got it. That's fine. As long as someone gets it. Ouch. Kick that guy in the chest. There we go. Knowing that we have the stomp ability always available does make this a little bit more tolerable because at first there it seemed like we were just able to swing our our weapon around as a kind of a makeshift melee weapon and it's not that effective obviously. But knowing we can do the stomp anytime we want to makes me a lot happier. <laughs> I think I, I think I like just kicked an empty corpse. By that point, the guy had already gotten gibbed. Honestly, I probably don't have to shoot too much because I think this guy is able to... The, the big hitters. The big hitters and maybe also the big shitters. Did Hitman fall down? Oh, he just... He was just uh, going back for stuff back that way. Popping it all the time. God damn. You're going out of style. Let him go for it. There we go. Because then I can just go for the punish. The gun punish. The gunish, if you will. This is where the Dreadnought leaves us. Let's see if there's anything over there. I'm just gonna assume that the Dreadnought will take care of those guys for us. And he does. Oh, he's got a stomp too? Damn, I thought I was I thought I was cool because I had a stomp. He's a little bit bigger than I am. He's a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier as a veritable heavy class. Proceed, brothers. Our brethren barricaded this entrance to stall any attackers. I'm doing pretty well on healing. And engage it to remove the obstructions. To the crane, brothers. To the crane, that's what we wanted to hear. That's the, uh, that's, that's the objective that I'm looking, looking to hear. No one else wants it. I'll, I mean, I don't really need this health, but I'll still grab it. So it's after we use the crane to move the stuff. Yeah, yeah, this crane right there. The Oats Brother, yeah. El Gosso, I didn't even have to say it. You knew exactly what I was thinking. You picked up what I was putting down. You picked up what my brain was thinking about putting down. Take a relic. It will help. This guy. Unique war gear radiates hope.
one thing I am keeping my eye out for is the data slate. I think it's gonna be in like the next room over, maybe? After we activate the crane. But keep my eyes peeled. Ooh, that's nice. Armory data. Attention. Oops. Equipment available. Got some weapon schematics. It's only one person that has to interact with it. That's really helpful. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, that's really helpful. I'm guessing those locations are randomized each time. Okay, yeah, they, I think someone else already looked up top, so I think we're in pretty good shape here. We got health there. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm full health and have all the things I can carry with me. Healings I can carry with me, so I am in good, good shape. Sounds like they found armor boost. I will put the armor boost to use. Okay, I think I am set. It's nice that bad guys are not spawning right now, at least. I think when it says no targets detected, that means like no enemy activity, no hive activity. Operating crane. Stim supplies here. Heretic troops advancing. Oh, but now they're going to be spawning in. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. So it's that, then it's less dynamic and more scripted. The enemy's popping in. Killify him to death. There we go. Rip his head off. And out comes the fun chaos confetti. With power sword. Oh, these guys. Friendly fire warning issue. Check your aim. It makes me wonder, since there is like a, a confirmation when you accidentally shoot your homie, it makes me wonder if there is going to be a friendly fire at some point later. Maybe they'll add like another difficulty that makes it possible to hurt your homies. My favorite is still the, when I just fucking kick him in the chest. That's probably my favorite version of that. That little takedown. We're good to drop down. Oh gosh, we're spawning in. Or maybe we still have to wait. I think they said wait until the coast is clear, but I think we're just okay to drop down. Bullying me. Oh, th thank you for the assist. This guy's bullying me. He's being very not nice about it. We're still here. Nothing else. We might get more experience by killing more by more guys. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Armor back, if nothing else. I think he did get brought back up. Still up here, right? Yeah, they're both still up here. Yeah, we can. I think we can drop down, though. I mean, I don't want to be the one to drop down and then have them both go down. Because my ass wasn't there to help them. So, yeah, more of them are spawning in very, very frequently. See, party target sentry. Yeah, I'm not sure what that actually means. It's sentry. Maybe there's like a bad guy that's like causing them to respawn constantly. If we kill the sentry, maybe that stops the the, the flood. Refilling magazines. Calibrate your aim, brother. 
Hella butcher and brother, which is a nice way of saying like, yo, get fucking good. Okay, we got there. So if nothing else, we got lots of experience fighting more bad guys. That's like a, a nice holistic way to look at this kind of thing. I think what I'm looking for is back this way. Here we go, I found the data slate. Resupply there. There we go. Got an achievement for getting for getting all of them. So there we are. We are set. That's all the data slates. That's a really well hidden one. Now we're in good shape. So now we just gotta finish the level. Finish the level in style. I don't remember how this one ends. I don't think there is a boss battle per se. I think it's just a enemy rush. So let's try the multi melt on. I'm also, I'm also just gonna keep running because I don't need to, that kind of negativity in my life. They'll probably be chasing us down, but that's fine. Delta bomb. I'll stick with the shock grenades. Kind of surprised this guy chased us down. Kind of silly. This is priority target sentry. We will report it to the Ordo Zenos. Continue with the mission. We'll see if this is a horrible idea bringing in the multi melta. I mean, if it's mostly close quarter, then I'll feel great, but if it's not, then I'll feel very silly. Equipment there. Interesting choice. He brought the, the sword, or the, uh, the, the knife, that is, instead of the. Instead of the chainsword. Terminate patrol spot. <laughs> Ulti melt is always so fun. It's messy, it's it's big and it like Requires that you get really up in there, up close and personal, but boy, howdy, is it fun. And like deeply, deeply satisfying, but also like it's so easy to go through the ammo real fast. Let's look at the, all the extra pipings and tubings it has. Equipment marked. I'll grab one. That weapon of yours is the pride of the armory. Pride of the armory. Good talk. If nothing else, in cases like this, I can just whip out the pistol and just take the little fellas with them. Check your aid. Fresh magazine. Grab one of these. So we get up in there, especially when they're all clustered like this. This is actually like a very bountiful, bountiful positioning for them. Because yeah, look how look how quick it was to just knock them all out. Yeah, if they all want to just be nice and close like that. That makes my job way easier. No complaints here. I just really started to appreciate just how big and like tall our guy is with the extra halo that he has on his back on top of the extra big data pack ammunition restocked it is uh it's kind of like delightful how over the top this is i mean he seems like he'd be a little bit top heavy i might just fall forward by accident Captain Akaran, your ultramarines are late. he's got a melta gun his is a standard melta so i appreciate that both of us went in on the on the melta times melta brothers melta makes it smelta He's the he's the chargey boy. He's the vanguard guy. So he's like pretty lightweight, but can still have the standard melty gun. It's a good gun. It's a good solid gun. I like it. Do you see us? I mean, they don't have the bestest of vision. Sees us now. 
Fucking kick his ass completely down. And then shoot him while he's down. Yeah, now I feel a lot better knowing that we have that stomp attack, which is not all that we need, but it is the big one. To like kind of clear out the crowd a little bit. No box. I will grab this guy. Smells like fresh munition. A lot of ammo boxes back this way. Grab just one. That's all I need. One little ammo box. One little ammo snack. I don't want to spoil my ammo dinner. Oops. More ammo here. Just standard stuff. It didn't stun him. Although that did, though. Yeah, he's got it. That hurt a lot, but uh, we're fine. Oh, that's a grenade. Don't. I don't want to just sit on that. Leaving wounds. Some arm back, that'd be pretty cool. Let's kill one of these guys. There we go. I suspect this other guy is probably not long for this world because he was like getting hit by a lot of those. There we go. So I used almost all of my ammo, but that was a pretty major enemy wave. We'll help with Templar over here. Is the sorcerer still around here? Because the like the little wispies makes me think. Oh yeah, there he goes. There he is. Lesser sorcerer. I mean, he's still pretty big. Still pretty good, big and scary. But he's now dead and scary. Armor boost. Got it too. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. We got there. Delta bomb. Let's see. I got the shock grenades. I do like those a lot. Ammo. Medic kit. What needs yeah. refilling magazines? Ooh, two ammo. Equipment available. Now, if no one else wants it, I will. Very, very readily and very gl gleefully snack it up. Restocked. I'll put that shit to very good use. Very good and spicy and face melting good use. There's something, something below us. I'm actually pretty good on ammo. Yeah, he should, yeah, he should grab that for sure. Pile marked. So we kind of accidentally found the second data slate, which we already had, obviously. I think they probably had that one, too. The first one's, like, pretty easy to miss. But that one's uh, only a slight deviation away. No telling what surprises await. Oh, except before the, the door opens. What kind of assault are we talking? Oh, I, I see him. Oh, we got, we got the buddy, though. We have an ammo cluster right in front of us, so I can be nice and irresponsible. Especially, like, the extra, extra big boys. This is just a standard big boy. There's, like, the extra big boys to watch for. Oof. Some 
paying attention. I'm gonna help, help out with Tempura because he had a whole wave of just the standard bros heading towards him. That was, a, that was a good tactical play. It made that guy extra, extra vulnerable. Oof. Yeah, don't want to be right close and, and like in the line of fire right when those guys spawn in. Oh, that guy just stomped his ass. I think that was like one of the extra big guys. Satisfying. Shim off real quick. Oh, yeah, he's got him. Yeah, as long as someone gets him, that's all that matters. I'm not picky about who does what. As long as they get got. This real quick. We good? Very good. Adequate performance noted. Talasa. Who's adequate? Adequate performance. We cannot preserve this blessed vehicle with such a meager number of troops. Talasa is not there to provide you with protection. We got uh, Garvin's over on Trovo. What's up, Garvin's? Going to Space Marine 2. This is actually our second night checking out the multiplayer. This is the op one of the operations levels, one of the co op operations mode. And we actually just wrapped up with a challenge that I was hoping to complete before the end of the night, which was to get all of the optional data slates that are scattered throughout all the levels. There's two, or sometimes three data slates in the standard missions, or the standard areas. Actually, the Melta was kind of fun. Should I stick with the Melta? Uh, I can't remember what this next sequence is. I should probably stick with the heavy, the heavy bolter. But anyway, yeah, so we got all the data slates. They're, they're scattered throughout the standard campaign levels, as well as the, the main, uh, the, the co-op areas. I think we are in good shape. Yeah, I think I think this area is a bit more of a long range mission. Stay close and Maybe, uh, this is the one where you have to babysit the battery, I think. Actually, no, that's not right. That's the next level. Because I know the whole idea here is we're, we're commandeering the ship. Yeah, we have this large area. Oh, it is the battery. Yeah, so it's not going to be close combat. So there will be some lots of, lots of ranged stuff. Right. Due to the volatile nature of the fusion battery, safety protocols prevent it from moving without an attack. Shield guys do such a good job of being annoying and sometimes avoiding air shots. Like it's impressive how bulky they are. Or not how bulky, how tanky they are. You have some healing. I'm just gonna go and grab that one. Trying to do some assistance. Gotta push this thing though. Escort. We have to escort it. Like the payload in TF2 all over again. It seems like at least Hitman Agent knows this decently well already. Seems like he knows what to do. For managing the tracks nearby. You must perform the appropriate rites of alignment to achieve the desired geometry. I'll go ahead and they possess the ability to extrapolate accordingly. So surely the ultramarine screen that recruits for reasoning and spatial awareness. Oh, oh shit, that's wrong way. This I have my doubts. Ah, crap. Yeah, sorry. That, that's my bad. I should have, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, yeah, move it a little bit. I'll go ahead and press the button twice. A little bit hard to tell which way it's facing. Uh, oh, this one? Maybe? Gotcha. Oh, for some reason, oh, there it goes. It was, I was waiting for it to be interactable. So now it's going to be moved again. Oh, but this one's locked. Oh, shit. Kill that guy so we can get the armor back real quick. Ooh, Tempor just went down. It's back, though. High ranking chaos target. We do some healing. 
Injecting steel. Oof. I always think I can dodge that. I always think I can, like, get out of the iron sights and dodge it in time. Okay. So... Thousand suns deploy the terminator. You can't just press the button over and over. Well, actually, oh, now I can. Because uh, earlier I had to, like, I had to, like, wait for it to move. Oh, shit, it's still not moving. I guess as long as it gets to that side. Yeah, I was hoping to sw swivel it around. I guess as long as it gets to one of those two delivery spots. I was assuming it had to be in a certain order. Okay. So yes, this one's ready to be switched. There we go. Loaded up, and we have a nice little break from the combat, which is good. Okay, then I think you have to hit it twice. Actually, three times. Yeah, and then one more after that. There we go, that should be good. No, we'll have to we'll have to hit the switch again though. There we go, you got it. So I guess it doesn't mean we have to do the the charging the charging stations in a certain order necessarily. Oh, there it goes. We just have to hit both charging stations and then deliver it back to the ship. goes faster with more when like multiple people approaching it. There it goes. Oh boy. More bad guys. I was wrong to expect a better. He's out. I'll go ahead and get the finisher for him so I can get some arm back. Low health does not do me any favors right now. I was actually hoping that would reach better, but it did not. Oh, am I gonna go down? Oh shit, Bonnie is here. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Thanks for a good doggy. Oh, but I don't have my mouse arm right now. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go down. I have no more healing. Yeah, oh, shit. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate timing. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Now, I, I can self-revive, but I'm gonna see if I can hang on to that. Cool. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. When Bonnie wants lovies. It is, uh, not much you can do about it. Just, just, got, just gotta roll with it. I'm running pretty low on ammo, unfortunately. Let's see. Terminus went down, but I think Hitman's got him. Oh, no, he does not. Oof. Drop him real quick. And I'll see if I can get to Terminus. Where's it, man? He's over on the other side. I think Hitman's going for him. We'll need ammo pretty darn soon. Ammo to make the bad guys go blammo. Ouch. I think there was a ammo box near the very beginning area. Did we get this thing charged up by the way? I got a thousand chaos servants uh killed according to the achievements. Oh, can't block that one. What am I doing? Is 
So we did get it charged up right. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, here's Tempura. Piss him up. Okay. There's the ammo crate right here. Switch it around. Right, let's do it one more time after that. There we go. Some ammo refill, which is good because I was getting. I was down to seven. Seven bullets left, which is not a lot. It was a little bit rough and used all of my remaining healing, unfortunately. Go ahead and get this one ready. Okay, I'm just gotta. Yeah, just gotta bring that guy. Gotta bring it all the way to the top. Got a massive enemy wave coming in hot. Break up, that should do it. The Codex approved victory. Said massive enemy wave coming in hot. I don't know if it's gonna start until maybe after this finishes. Just threat neutralized. Okay, maybe we're good. Has Major targets. Of power. Perhaps in the machine god's infinite wisdom, they permit the transgression you're about to commit. Oh boy. Do not yep. speak beyond your ken, engine seer. It does not take a locust to see this act of desperation. There we go. These are not exactly what I would call major targets, at least not yet. Oh, there's a freaking uh, sorcerer, though. I think we found those guys. Ah, oh, shit, I, sh I should have, uh, I should have tried to dodge it, I should have just parried it. Try to laser me. Man, he really likes me. Flattering. He likes me so much. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's got it. As long as we're bringing him down. Okay, and all while that was happening, yeah, we're escorting this, which is good. What's going on here? Oh, he was like stuck. He was like, he was like frozen in animation. That was kind of cool. I'm put the melt bomb down. Yeah, I'll start moving it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, no targets detected. Alright, so it's a little bit chill for now. A little bit scared of that melta bomb being right there. Hopefully it won't explode on its own. So now we'll wanna There we go. So now we wanna just rotate it one more time. It seems like whatever direction the light is placing. There we go. So yeah, so we'll wanna we have to go two, two more times. Let's do the switch two more times. There we go. Now we're good. Okay, now we should be all set. Calibrate your aim, brother. Did lose my armor. Oh, there's snipers that are gonna try to be annoying. It's actually kind of nice because this will force them to funnel through, but we got these big guys coming in. Controlled burst. Controlled burst fire. There we go. Actually, that would be stupendous. Good chance to get some armor back. By the way, Meerkat has landed. All is well. Hell yeah, bud. Get to the brother's place. That's awesome, man. Sounds nice and cozy. Because I know when you were saying the other day, the, yeah, the, it was going to be like a fun little family visit. 
hang out with the broski. Oh, that's right, because yeah, you, you told me ahead of time that yeah, you were hanging out there. We were talking about that when we were playing the Lord of the Rings game, because it, it came up at one point. A tricky, sometimes like tricky family business. Lost the headphones though, that is a shame. Were they like the cheapo kind? Or like the expensive kind? Headbutt, yeah. Just give him a little smooch, a little smooch on the lips. All right, we got to the objective. And I think there's gonna be an ammo box up here. And thank goodness, good, thank goodness, some healing. Medical reason encouraged. we are almost there. What is your status? Keeping this rusty relic safe while it charges rubber. Ammo is very helpful, but there's gonna be. I'm gonna need uh, other ordnance, ideally. Oh shit! Oh, he dropped me. This is what happens when you leave New Jersey. Bad things happen. Oh, Tempora got dropped. I didn't even realize. That's not good. No, no wonder we're uh, a bit of a tough s s state here. Now the good news, we do have the uh, the guardian thingy, the thing that lets us uh, respawn on, on our own if need be. But not if we have a mortal wound. Right, go for the kill. Get a hold until the engines charge, and then just hit the button. So really, just 10 more seconds, and I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Oh, I didn't get the combo, or the or the parry, that is. Put those things down. For ignition. That's all well and good. I think we have to, like, wait for them to stop chattering, and then the... The, uh, what should I call it? That terminal will open up. And I think that's pretty much going to be it. There we go. There's a terminal. I'm going for it. Numerous errors detected due to... Okay, that should do it. Everything beyond here is just extra credit. They're probably not very expensive. That's good, then. So nothing of, like, enormous value was lost. It's just the it's just the inconvenience of the matter. Which is a pain in my eyes if I still had them. A heavy sacrifice of such a sacred machine. Let us hope Because that ship we're launching, we saw that at one point in the final level of the main campaign. The part where you see the cruiser that's been sacrificed to launch into the enemy position. That's where that's that's where and how that happens. And that's victory right there, baby. That was a that was a, a tough one though. We we fought, we fought hard for that one. Yeah. I um I don't I'm i I'm like I, I still like being the heavy. But it's really rough when you're kind of getting cornered. I feel better knowing there's that stomp ability. But having a, like a more agile, more nimble uh, melee weapon would really go a long way for that class. So it's like, I don't know if I would want to make that one of my mains. I might I might be more inclined to go for the bulwark as like some kind of, some kind of wall, some kind of wall of metal class. It was still fun though. And we somehow by the grace of God actually did keep the gene seed. Maybe it's different in single player versus multiplayer because I could because I think all of us got dropped. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that one guy who held who held it never got dropped. Because myself and the other dude got knocked constantly. Yeah, it might have been it might have been Hitman. He might have gotten never dropped because he was I think he was the one that grabbed it, which is impressive. Shit. Well, GG's. That's that is. Uh, the level for the heavy class, of course. And that gets us to level 5, which means we, if we wanted to, we could play with the big dogs and jump into, like, big kid. Average mode difficulty. Average mode territory. And there's, uh, Die Dimos Die. Thank you for that prime sub, bud. That's so nice of you. Thank you, bud. That's super nice of you, buddy. We, I guess, already have... Oh, Mastery Reach for the Bolt Pistol. Oh, it, didn't, it doesn't, doesn't go any higher than that. Same with the Heavy Bolter. Mastery doesn't go any higher than that. That's surprising to me. I thought, oh, I think you have to, like, still cash it in, and then it opens up to the next tier. I think that's how it works. I think that's how it works. Thank you, Die Demos. That's very nice of you. Very nice of you using that Prime Gaming sub on my, on my scrubby little ass. 
Appreciate that deeply. Super nice of you, man. Look at that. He hits us with a prime sub before even jumping in for the first time, Chad. What an absolute Chad. Thank you, bud. Were there, were there any good penis jokes while I was going? Ask Meerkat. Meerkat asking the hard-hitting questions. Oh, and here we go. Here's the proof in the pudding. Look at that. 100% completion. It's beautiful. We have all the data slates. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. We're feeling nice and confident. It's a wonderful thing. That is some good shit. Good shit. Um, unfortunately, I do need to hop off because it is getting pretty late. So, so I'm going to boogie. But it's nice playing with you guys. Thanks for the games, boys. Said that to the guys in the game with us. Yeah, it's, um, I would honestly love to keep playing. Especially now that we're like, we've gotten to, we've got a few nice things unlocked. We're starting to kind of get like a better handle on what kind of classes I would personally want to focus on. The, um, grappling hook guy, the, the vanguard class, and probably the bulwark as being the two main ones. So kind of getting a, kind of getting a handle on like the classes that I'm more inclined to kind of lean more towards. And honestly, even just the standard tactical class would be nice to play more. Just the standard kind of weapon specialist. There was a lot of times when, I don't know which one it was, but one of the guys was able to use that tactics kind of revealing class, or uh, class ability, which reveals hidden bad guys, but also makes any bad guys affected by it super vulnerable and makes them take more damage. That's just like a really nice ability to throw out for good measure. So, so I really appreciate, you know, kind of getting more handle on the classes and more just exposure to how they all work, their pros and their cons, that kind of thing. So really cool stuff. We are going to wrap it up for the night. I have to get up extra early tomorrow for work. I go in the office on Thursday, so I knew I was going to—I was not going to stay up super late tonight. But I'm glad we were able to get some games, and I'm glad we were able to get the last of those data slates sent in. I've been talking about every so often how, uh, since we got a review key through Daredrop for this game, there are certain um, extra challenges we can sign up for whenever we get whenever we're participating in a Daredrop campaign. I was able to get a review key for this game through Daredrop, and I was able to sign up for a couple extra challenges also through Daredrop. And if we look, if we look here, let me, let me do it this way. Let me go to the site, actually. Pro this is probably the easiest way to show it. Uh, as you can imagine, the most desirable dare drop challenges, or, or dares is what they call them, are the ones that reward Steam keys for this game, for Space Marine 2. Those are the ones that are the hottest commodity. And here is what that situation looks like here, because the, maj the vast majority reward other games published by... Focus Interactive, including Evil West. So here we go. So the, so this is the four. They all share the same reward, uh, the same uh, reward uh, pool, so to speak. And all four of these reward a Steam key for Space Marine Two. So reach ma reach maximum level in all classes. That would take like weeks. So there's no way that's happening anytime soon. PVP match finished without dying once. I mean, you'd have to like cheese it, but I guess it's possible. Uh, Angel of Death difficulty for the campaign. I mean, maybe someday, but no, no time soon, obviously. As w but whereas we have this one here, collect all the data slates, all all the audio logs. So we have this completed. The downside, as you can see right here, they're they're out of stock. But it doesn't say out of stock permanently. There's a chance that the the Daredrop admins might be able to get us hooked up with more, uh, with a refill at some point. So I'll go ahead and still submit the reward, or I'm sorry, the clip for this one. To see what we'll get out of it. Um, there's a chance we might, get, might not get anything. But it's worth a shot. If nothing else. There's like the other obvious ones. Um, we'll probably do this. Maybe the next time I stream this. Which will, which is to say probably like Saturday. Saturday maybe Sunday. Old, I've got some extra cardboard boxes lying here. I'd probably just like have. Like some pauldrons. Maybe a cuirass and a helmet with like some holes cut out. Maybe spray paint or something. I don't know what exactly we would do. But some kind of goofy ass space marine cosplay. That'd be kind of fun. Um, to get us a steam key for bolt gun. So, like, we'll still get some giveaways, obviously. We'll still have something to show for it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like I said, the, the big one, of course, are, uh, are, are sadly not quite as a, a, available to us. But we'll see. We will see. That's the story for now, my friends. And shouts to Ilu. Nut. With the nut. Thank you for the nut, Ilu. I, you got me so excited I slapped my little sign around. 